Microphone check, one, two, hold up, goddammit. My air horn ain't loud enough and I'm back to fucking work. Here we go. Uh, microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 273 of the Joe Button Pod. Four. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm ahead of even where I thought I was progressing. <laughs> Episode 274 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your fucking humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Button. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Uh, what's your name again? Rashid Sunflower. Hey. <laughs> will Rashid be at a pool party or Maul? No. No, Maul. No. Maul will be there. No. Okay. Yeah, Maul. I could have told you that. I mean, might split it up. Like no, the no. early early half be Rashid, no, no. then when the sun go down, Maul no, will show up. No, when Maul come around the Jersey crew, he be extra Bronx. <laughs> you know, like when niggas go niggas go to South Carolina and they be like, "Oh, you're not from here, are you?" Yeah. Like he be trying to get that off. You're not from Jersey, are you? Twenty minutes away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. trying to get that off. Yeah, you, nah, you see all those buildings that Bronx. you can see. Yeah, like what? <laughs> you can see my crib from Jersey, though. Look, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Uh, Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is somewhere here. The gang is all here, gentlemen. What the fuck is good? What's up? It's popping out here. What's good, man? Nothing, man. Everything is all right. I see your energy level is up. I it's, like that. Yeah, yes, man. Yeah, man. Like. This that's, is what I like. Listen. This is what I like a, to see you. That's man. important, man. Yeah, it's it's absolutely. good to be happy out here in these absolutely. streets. Absolutely. I agree. Weather's nice. It's much to be grateful for. You woke up Great with weather. your health. Great weather. Everything is awesome, man. Listen, shout out to our Spotify listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to all you bitches asking me to buy you a flight. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's No. Key. I don't want to do that. <laughs> how, how do they ask that? I'm trying to come. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to come just means I ain't got the flight money yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. So if you got it to. <laughs> Do they throw, you know that emoji that they use? Like the, the, the crooked cr- the, face the, one? No, the crying face. Like, oh, I wish I could go. Yeah. The, the, like they throw the sauce on. So yeah, you're like, oh send, shit, nah, I got you. Then they send the gifts and then like, but I'm poor. Yeah. Mm, yeah. We're on to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm just, I know what that emoji means. I'm just amazed by the arrogance of women. Like it'd be women that you ain't never fuck. You ain't trying to fuck. Can't blame them. You ain't never touched them the wrong way. Ain't approached them. Never propositioned them. Can't blame them. And they like, ew. Because niggas send that through. Niggas out here sending it through without doing any of that. No, I spoke to Vern. We'll get one of them. No, time out. I spoke to Vern. (laughs) I spoke to Vern earlier. Vern called me and I answered it. Mm -hmm. Right? I haven't been answering Vern, but I answered it. Uh, And in talking to Vern, Vern let me know he's, he's done with the strip clubs in New York. Because the strip clubs in New Jersey, you can make it rain like 200 singles. Them bitches act like Christmas. That's what Vern was saying. And I was like, wow, I might need to come with you. He said, nah, you don't bring your famous ass over here. I'm having a blast. So I was like, damn, it's like that out there? And then Vern put it very simply. He said, yo, you either uh, you either famous you either, or you tricking. And it was one more. I don't remember. And he said, those are the three ways to get it done. And that's the end. You got to pick one. And I said, wow. You might be accurate there. Mm. It's scary out there in the streets. Well, I mean, again, it's niggas out here. That's that's why chicks is comfortable asking you to fly them out because niggas is, niggas is doing it. Well, well, my list will balance that out at the pool party. I'm definitely inviting women that want to get to know you guys for who you are okay. and, and your positive <laughs> attributes I that I know you. that you guys have. This is why I appreciate you. Yeah, women that'll ask you how your day was. If people ever ask why does Maul appreciate you? Say because women that want to get to know us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I missed my first three. Yeah, uh, all right, it's, cool. early. it's early. Rim, I'm gonna get it's early. It's get early. It's early. Get back on defense. Get back, yeah. on defense. <laughs> get back on defense. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, get back. All on right, defense. what did we say? Who's on? It was a light miss. You didn't like throw the three up <laughs> and then it hit the rim. Yeah. I didn't turn around, start jogging no, no, back no, before no. it went. No, uh, no. I don't have your list. I don't have your list. I don't know what's going on, but I do expect to have a really, really good time. Uh, that's all I'm here to talk about. I don't know what else there is to talk about outside of my pool party and the, and the funny Dame Dash clip. Okay. What well, do you want to talk about the pool party or just get right to the shits? I'm going to talk about my pool party throughout this entire podcast. So yeah, we'll make it like a commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll make it like Great. A- yeah, whenever rough ends come on, you know the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where would you gentlemen like to begin? I ain't going to be here all night. Me neither. I tell you that. No, no. Get I right see. to it. You got your I ain't here all night shorts on. So. <laughs> yeah. Got our, regular, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Shorts, no, when Maul needs is exposed. Two, two tones, too. Yeah, Maul just, knees shouldn't mm. be exposed. Didn't you, know if you were going to give him blue or hang, red. He's going to hang out with Griselda and expose his knees. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going got on? fucking in unity shorts on. <laughs> uh, what do you want to start with? Let's, uh, go ahead. Uh, do y'all want to start with Dame? No, nah, I want to get right to the shit. So, Sway Lee with the clap back. 
Ooh, I saw it too. Yeah, oh, he's supposed to throw something there. You talk. Yeah, Rory, we've been doing so great. I know, but you supposed just, to, that would have been the yo, sound effect. You know how great this podcast would be if Rory never looks at my laptop? Because then he'll just talk. And then I'll do this. Talk. So, so you could hit the gunshot. That was no, the I got to get clapped back by Ja Rule. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Can I buy some time? I'm back, nigga. That's what you're looking for? Yeah, I'm here. I tore this beat up and got tore up on this beat. Yeah, that's a fact. This is the Sean P one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't Listen, fair, though. I don't think there's any shame in that, by the way. By Sean P tearing you up. No, no shame in that. <laughs> uh, I'll tear this beat up right now. No, you, won't. You, won't. you ain't in shape. You won't. Uh, you ain't in shape. Uh, Look, yeah, you gotta go hang with, Lux. Chill. hang with Lux for a little bit. Yeah, your head nod ain't even the same chill, no more. Like, yeah, you ain't got nah, you in shape, nigga. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't in shape, nigga. My own ain't even nah, right. Nah, nigga, you said all crazy, nigga. <laughs> uh, yo, all right, let's talk about it, man. Uh, Cause I'm sick of it. Enough of this. Well, hold on. For those you for those that it. don't for those that don't know and didn't listen to the last episode, we were a bit, we were a bit critical except for Maul. Maul said he absolutely loved whack. it. Maul that said shit it was, was ass, nigga. Hey, Sway Lee, <laughs> hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks with Drake <laughs> at the end of the fucking summer. <laughs> the fuck are you on? Now, now listen. Well, Sway Lee had a response to that. Oh, now, we don't know who he was talking to because he ain't say me. He's talking to you. I'm sick of the niggas that I like saying something. Well, he said, <laughs> "What you mean?" Like we all like Sway Lee. I like. We the love Sway Lee. Shut it on me, but okay. So then, shut the fuck up, Sway Lee. <laughs> yeah. He may not be aware that we Man, love him. Man, who cares what because he's you know, aware artists, of? Artists only hear, hear when you hate them, not when you love them. Who mm. gives a fuck what you what the artists are aware of? They should do their due diligence, and they would learn. We love you guys. We love you. We only don't love you when you ain't informed, and then you start clapping back at some niggas that's doing their fucking job the way you doing your job. I don't have to like every fucking Sway Lee song. I think, yeah, that's one thing. I'm artists not. Don't, I'm not. I'm not committed to that. Yeah. Why do artists <laughs> feel like they got it? We have to like every song, honestly. Like why? Because they're sensitive. I don't even be liking all the songs I work on. Yeah, like I don't like I don't <laughs> Yo, like every record. That doesn't I, mean I don't like you. I hate artist. half of my catalog. <laughs> half of it is like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking in there that day? <laughs> so it's like, what what makes y'all so exempt? They last album was three albums. I can't not like some. Right. Now, in his defense, I don't really think Sway Lee is making music for a thirty nine year old. Not so. No, of course not. No. But yeah, so I we can will still say we can still identify with his catalog and his track record of making hit records. Yeah, and feel yeah. like it's we not can know when this on one par. just nah. yeah that that wasn't it. This this ain't it. But again, I like the record. But but Maul, that's the thing. You can like it. You yeah, reserve the yeah. right. And hey, you, the record could work. It could be a huge hit, absolutely. huge success, and some niggas still can not like it. Absolutely, that's okay. Absolutely, yeah. I'm so sick of this era of the sensitive artists. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's it. No, that's all I have to say. I don't have anything to say about it. I didn't keep that energy with Nikki. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Me and Nick are uh, from Queens. Rory, you could never be. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, little Merrick Linden. Uh, <laughs> A little Merrick and Linden. <laughs> <laughs> little guy brew on him. Uh, me and Nick have mutual acquaintances in common, and she's a woman. So you have to let a woman just bark on you and scream on you. And I know. I, well, I'm wrong. aware. That's the rule. I don't have to let Sway Lee scream on me. <laughs> yeah, no. You can well, he just tweeted you. scream back at Sway Lee. He did. It looked like, yeah, we could scream back at Sway Lee. Okay. Well, he tweeted. Sex, sex to see. <laughs> no, we wasn't, that wasn't your vibes? It's not getting a pool party spin? you ruin August? It's not in your set? You can't ruin ecstasy either. God, yeah, but fucking no, 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 no. And Maul's such a dick eater. I like it. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> well, Maul never did not. Maul never did ecstasy. Except for when you, you know. I know. He got the nerve to like a song about, shut up, Maul. I'm so sick of Maul. I'm sick of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Maul and Ray Shrummer. <laughs> I like Maul the record. Shrummered. That's all. I like it. Well, good for you. And shout out to Sway Lee, man. Don't take any of uh, my screaming or aggression serious. I just don't like the song, and I do a podcast, and I'm on camera, and they teach you early that you have to do theatrics to make it uh, connect on camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too late. He's already taken it okay. personally. So. Yeah, I'm sure he's cut it off by now and yeah. just thinks yeah, he didn't you're angry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Could Sway Lee diss me? Yeah. 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 How would it go? 
Melodic Very you melodic You are unforgettable <laughs> 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 Nigga call your whole career unforgettable <laughs> 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 See that's the problem that's And how it'll be on a French record Because you only get dissed On French records You need to, you need to diss French it, Why? <laughs> Why you gotta diss French? <laughs> for that unforgivable record Unforgettable record <laughs> That's the problem You keep trying to make That unforgettable record And now you're mad at niggas That call it Yeah I feel you Make I, a new record That's actually how I knew It was gonna be Afrobeat though. I, I knew it Cause you knew he was What shit his last album Had mad at Afrobeat yeah, shit Yeah that's why I knew this, this record was gonna be one Well I'm gonna make a new sound Nigga how about that? <laughs> That's always an option in, in, all your, in all your fucking genius Hey that record worked For French Now you do, you do one <laughs> It's your turn <laughs> Yeah um, What else I'm not here to start My fucking pool party podcast With Sway Lee talk Well Can we talk about adult stuff now Rory always trying to get me Into 25 and under hip hop Hey when Rory see I'm in the mood He try to get me in trouble With niggas mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo let me produce you That's smart <laughs> Duh he says Yeah let me produce you well, What else is going on Out in the streets uh, we can get right into the Dame shit then. Hey, there we go. God damn it. I ain't got long to be here. Let's get right into Dame. Let's go. Let's get into it. How do y'all feel about it? Y'all, y'all watch it? Adam 22? I, I, I watched the whole interview. Yes. So did I. I did too. That was one of the first times I watched a full interview in a, in a while. And I I just just had to sit there and watch it. It was it was entertaining. Yeah, Dame's always good. It was entertaining. I will say that. Yeah, Dame, Dame, interviews, Dame interviews are always more just... PSAs and then there's the other person that just happens to be on camera too right? <laughs> and which isn't a, a slight to Adam because that happens with everyone that yeah, interviews with Dame thing. it's Dame yeah. Dame mm-hmm. just talks that's what Dame does and you're, that's just, what you're Dame, just there to be like and you bring oh, him but. on there to do that right. yeah of course let him be Dame uh, I'll be honest I was wondering well not wondering I was applauding Dame for staying quiet during this whole Hove NFL debacle because mm-hmm. I figured Dame would be itching to say something <laughs> Uh, same yeah. <laughs> So when he didn't I was like Ah Turn of a new leaf Go Dame Staying out of this Maybe that's a conscious decision You know Doing some things differently Apparently not Nah Apparently not Got right with Adam 22 hey, 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 uh, Shout out to Adam 22 uh, And Said Jay ain't shit Everybody and, in the industry Knows Jay ain't shit that's, Those were his words Yes And I will say Dame, we've always seen Dame take slights at Jay in interviews, but I think this is the first time he's gone on that ledge and fully said, yo, I don't fuck with him, period. He's not shit. He's always kind of done it in like a political way, like, yo, we're not partners no more. Like, he, he rocks with people I don't rock with. I'm doing my shit over here. Like, he does it in a nice way. Mm-hmm. Mm. This was the first time Dame was just like, fam, he ain't shit. I don't fuck with him. I don't know why y'all fuck with him. This is nuts. The only problem I had that's, that's, that's essentially what he said That's exactly what he said But yeah. the only problem I had with that is he, I, did, I do like when he said Do you know the, the details of the deal? No? Yeah. So why are we even talking about it? But then he went on you can't start, To talk about it He started with that Right, which I love It's like, <laughs> yeah Which he, is what I was saying Like, yo, yeah, we don't even know what's gonna happen Why are people track, so Lost track And then he bit. Then he talked about it Proceeded to talk about it <laughs> A lot Yeah that's the only problem I have with Dame. I love Dame. Learned a lot from him. But Dame is just, he's in his own, he's his ego. And that's all it really is. His ego is just, he won't allow his ego to get out of his way. Because even when he speaks, it's always the way I, the way I, the way I would, the way I was brought up, the way I. Everybody wasn't, you're not in this world alone. You're not in this world. This world doesn't run around your principles in the way you were brought up and the things that you believe in. So you can't expect or not fuck with people because they don't believe in the same things or do things the way you would do it. Sure you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You, can, you, can, you cannot do that. You cannot operate in a world like that. Wait, why can't fuck with somebody because they don't, uh, we're not like-minded in a certain area or because they don't share every, the same view? Because then you're going to find area. yourself being alone a lot. Uh, Which if you want to live that yeah. way, that's totally fine. Nobody wants to live alone. And if they tell you they want to live alone, there's a something deeper there. There's a problem. Well, we're, we're social creatures. So what I'm saying is Dame just... I love him. I, he's, I think he's a genius. Why he do I have great to be ideas. A, Well, wait, let's rewind. Let's go back. Why do I have to be alone necessarily Cause you're gonna I'm not keep, fucking with people that are Because you keep like pushing minded. people away. You keep cutting people off. You that don't keep, mean I don't have my own people. Yeah, but even in, even in your own people, you'll start to push them away. Even people that you love and care about and family and all of that, it's like because your ego is so big, the moment somebody doesn't believe in what you're saying or or agree with what you're saying... You cut them off. You, you you turn a cold shoulder, and it's like because I don't agree with what you said. Like you're not fucking. I don't with me. want you to invalidate why ever Dame may feel away. 
No, I'm, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying his ego is a problem for me, and I don't think he understands how much of a problem it is for him. It's great to have principles and morals, and I, lo- I, lo- I learned a lot from yeah. him about that. That's great. You know that Dame is a man of, of integrity. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I love that. But a lot of the times, it's when it to comes his, down to... To his own hindrance. Exactly. And it's like, you can't, you can't expect, or you can't expect people to move on certain morals and integrity. Cool. But when they don't, or, you, or you want to understand your why perception of that, Maul or your be, perception Maul, of that, Maul shouldn't be allowed to talk about Rockefeller stuff. <laughs> why? Because that, that's not fair. Why? It is fair. How? Because I, I had a you close. You could never give like a real. Sure, I can. I could probably give a more real perspective than anybody because I don't have anything to lose. If I say anything negative about Jay. That doesn't ruin my relationship with Jay. If I have anything negative to say about Dame, that doesn't ruin my relationship with Dame. If I have anything negative to say about Biggs, that doesn't ruin my relationship with Biggs. That's family for me. So it's like I can come on here and actually say shit that other people would think twice about saying because they like, oh, Jay might not fuck with me. He might stop a deal for me. Dame might not fuck with me. Biggs might punch me in my face. I don't have those fears. So I can really be free and open. I don't speak on it because I understand that that's a really, really personal situation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things that I'm listening to Dame saying, I know the stories behind. I know what really happened. I know how other people really feel about him. So I, I choose not to speak on it. But when he's Are you a, saying about Dame or about who? About Dame, about Jay, about Biz. Like I just know how they feel about they all love each other. And it's mm-hmm. like it's, but again, I understand what the issue is, and the issue seems to only really be that Dame his ego is in the way of moving forward and 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 and, and making things right with each other and getting a, a relationship back. To where it used to be And it's really based on An ego thing That's it As far as I know As far as from what I'm told It's just all ego That's all I'm saying So even in listening to him I, Dame is a genius He he, he was a, 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 a ahead of this shit Years ago And wanting to be independent And own And start things And start companies And sell companies Like he was years ahead of the, the, the game on that So he is a genius But sometimes you need to Relinquish some of that ego Get rid of some of that And understand that you live in a world Where sometimes you're going to have to Adjust And you're going to have to move differently You're going to have to Take in different ideas And say hmm, Maybe I've been Thinking about this The wrong way for some years Let me look at it from this perspective Or let me look at things From this angle Like you can't be hell bent On your angle And your angle only Not in this world It doesn't work like that I agree Maul That's well all said. Yeah That was well said Yeah Maul is still rock nation <laughs> I'm not Rob just saying no, it's, it's just a- being real man That's all it is man I mean again I love Dame man But it's it's just ego man And it's it's whack Because everything that I know about those three Is like the love is still there But it's like You grow and you get older And people have families And you have different th- Responsibilities now And different perspectives And it's like Cool but that don't mean That it gotta be Oh Jane shit Hip hop situations can- Teach me so much Teach me so much About life Like you saying all this shit casually, but as I'm listening to you, you naming hard stuff for adults to cope with. Mm-hmm. Like, like if me, like if me and Parks is super, super, super tight, and then some shit happened, <clears throat> and then I love this nigga, but I can't speak to him anymore. Like I still have feelings. Mm-hmm. Like I would be hurt. I may be affected. Like is that an ego thing? Absolutely. Because there's nothing. What are we talking about? Entertainment. We talking about. Fashion, we talking about music, we talking about business. It's like, but 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 away from all of that, we come. We're from the same culture. We we, we brothers. So it's like it's a love that goes beyond all of that the business shit. So it's like cool when business comes into play. We're not gonna agree. We're gonna bump heads, but that's part of it. I can't even say. I remember, I was I was mad at you know, on a much smaller scale. Shit, I was mad that niggas was uh fucking around doing what we could to help Trev Rich out and then Trev Rich tried to go do some shit elsewhere. I don't know if that was me and my feelings or if I had a right to feel that way. Not saying you didn't have a right to feel that way but it was ego feelings. It was a lot of that. And that's all it ever is with men. It's an ego thing with men. That's all it ever is with men is ego. It's hmm. ego. We gotta slam yeah. our nuts on the table. My dick bigger than yours. I'm I don't think I ever join think- those, those, those types of uh, contests where niggas do that. You do. Yeah, you we do. all do. Yeah. We all do. I, some I think level. all men do to a degree, and I think the ego comes into play in how you channel it publicly. Like you in your head can have all those feelings, but how you then react to it and talk to people, I think, 
is that we're always going to have our ego. You can't dead Absolutely. your ego. It's impossible. Absolutely. You can just mature in how you react to things when you get that feeling in your, you in have your to, gut where it's like, oh, my fucking ego. You have to recognize when your shit. ego is in your way. Yeah, and I think you made the great point just about perspective that Dame has had with it. Dame is a genius, but Dame is stubborn. And it's hindered him and it's made him the businessman that he is, but you can't look at everything the same fucking way for every time. Every single time. Right. And you've I, been right a lot of the time. Dame has been right a lot of the time. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, there's three sides Does to every he have, story. I will Does always he have, a, have a sore spot for Dame's uh, disposition. I, I'll just say I, that. And I, and I think and, all of us... And let me too. be clear. I understand him feeling some type of way about the way things went. Biggs had... He felt right. the way about the way things went. But you know what happens? You, you look at shit, you're like, you know what? It was a business move. Do I hate Jay? Do I, do I love him any less? No. Do I hate what happened? Absolutely. There's also just ways to address it publicly, I think. I, I, I was just about to yeah, I, yeah. I agree with both of those Which points. Which goes with your ego I and do, how you I do believe Dame, portray has, uh, Dame has more, more, more integrity than to speak about some of these things, some of these things publicly in the manner in which he's, he's doing so. Yeah, like I hate, to see, that, I hate to see Dame somewhere saying Jay ain't shit. I'm mad that he said that to Adam-22. Yeah, it's like what? Yeah. I didn't want to see that. Like, come on, man! Like, that, and, and I fuck with Adam Twenty Two. Please don't don't misconstrue. I, 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 I know, I know, I know what you're saying. I just didn't, it was just a, a, that, some, that was someone he the, probably just met. It's not within the Rockefeller cert. Like that would have been better amongst family. Like, it, just say it but, to a but even bigger than that, fellas, it's not true. It's not yeah. true. You can't sit somewhere and honestly say Jay ain't shit. You can't. You created too much history together. You you made too much money. You you live too much of life together but his to sit somewhere and say his definition of ain't shit was uh, self self uh, self serving self serving self self preserving self preserving yeah. But well, you, here's here's my you, thing. You are supposed to preserve self though. But I'm saying it's, it's I don't know. It's, arguing about it's a slippery slope. Being it's a, a slip. It's only essentially. It's only a slippery because the guy that because everything that Maul just said, uh, you can't say the Jane shit. You was there. You was like maybe that's why he's. Feels like he could say it. It's because I was there. Well, actually, yeah, that's where the hurt comes from. I was there and I drowned. You went on to marry Beyonce and close all of the big, biggest business deals ever. How should I feel? Mm. Like, is that his ego? Or is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Because at the end of the day. His ego is hurt, yes. No, his ego, uh, yeah, his yeah, ego is, day, is affected. Hurt. Listen, at the end of the day, each man has to live their life. That's true. See, that's a whole thing. You've been hanging out with Hope. No, that's a whole line. No, honestly. That is a whole line. No, no he can't sneak no, about me. That, no, it's just that. Each man got to live his when life. When you sit back and really think <laughs> so? about it. No, when you, when you sit back and really think about it, I can't. I can only control my life. I can nah, only, you control some other things. Nah, you, but you really can't, though. It's like, I got I to gotta make sure I'm good. You before. should only be responsible for your life. Right. And so to say Jay and shit, it's like, how? Y'all made so much money together. As a result of what that man was doing. My, I mean, my only issue with it was Dame is specifically talking about something, what, 20 years ago? 15 years ago? Mm -hmm. When did that breakup happen? About 15. 15 years more, ago? Yeah, 15, 16. All three of those people are completely different people as everyone is 15 years later. So if you're saying you're not paying attention to Jay's business and don't particularly care about that, you guys are in two different spaces, you can't call someone ain't shit 15 years later. Mm. You could say 15 years ago when he was 30, Mm -hmm. Two or however old he was, mm -hmm. yeah, he wasn't shit. That's I didn't the, like that's that. That's the part. You have to give people some time to grow. You can't tell me 15 years later and you had paid no attention to his shit and you say you don't pay attention to headlines or deals that aren't yours. You can't call someone ain't shit. There's yeah. also probably less abrasive, uh, abrasive ways to say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can accuse Jay of being a capitalist. Say yo, and, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, I, I give, I give that's people. That's how Dame talks. Don't do that. Y'all yeah. relax. Dame has yeah, talked yeah. like that for. Yeah, but 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 what I'm, no, what I'm he's saying never going is, to that ledge but, with but Jay. But for now, what I was saying to say Jay ain't shit like that. It's like, come on, man. You know, you know the things that Jay does that he never wants the media to know about. Like, just silently does for for people and organizations. Like, it's and a lot of it is documented. Like, I'm I'm so surprised to see people killing Jay right now. Like, Jay been on this social this social wave. Like, mm. he been jumping on uh, helping the Trayvon Martin family. He he was he sent his lawyer to help Twenty One Savage. Like, he's been doing shit. This ain't new for Jay. He's snitching. I'm just saying this, this is this is shit that people. I'm not even saying shit that people I don't know, know I'm about. Joking, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying this is I'm shit joking. that we can look at and say, yo, he been he been about this type of shit. He been about action. But are, are you? I, uh, but are you dick eating to say that? No, that's just what the fa that's a fact. People always say you dicky and whatever, call it what you want. I'm just putting the facts out there. This is shit that you can go look at. This shit that Jay been doing. He been doing this. When the Columbine shit happened, Jay wasn't even a, a megastar like that. He was donating to Columbine years ago when that, when that school got shot up. That's he real. He did that. 
I'm just saying this is shit that he Blue been Blue doing. Blue Blue so hopefully we wouldn't have to do that. I'm just saying this is shit that the man been doing, man. <laughs> I donated to Colin Bonds. Hopefully you have to. I don't think that was the bar. Oh. No, no, that wasn't the bar. That, that, that wasn't the no. Were you about to say something? Uh, oh, I also give people the luxury of misspeaking when they're talking about something that may pain them or something that's emotional. I don't want to use the word emotional, but to their heart. Yeah. Like you can misspeak when you get worked up about something you generally care about or something that was really part of your life. You might go over the ledge by accident and be like, yo, he ain't shit. All right. I give people that luxury too, and then sometimes you got to stand on that. Yeah. Sometimes when you misspeak, you have to stand on being misspoken. Fuck, I said it. Well, I got to own it now. Mm -hmm. I give people that luxury. I don't think Dame really thinks Jay ain't shit. I really don't think that. No, he thinks and that. And that's why I have a problem with him saying it. <laughs> no, because he don't. He don't believe that. He thinks that. He don't believe that. Yes, he, does. He, he knows better. He, he don't believe that. He don't. Okay. He's he, his, he's hurt. <laughs> he's upset about some things. His ego is bruised. I get it, but you don't really believe that. Okay, but the hurt can make you believe some things. But that's that's something that's, that's on yeah, that's you true. though. That's on that's not what's real. That's just you. Oh yeah, nah, no. Dame put sauce on it. Listen, Hove is not just closing deals because Beyonce's next to him. Like, uh, like uh, again, that was something. There was, was a lot. There like, was a lot of don't shit. Don't try in to there. discredit. Yeah, there was a lot of shit yeah. in there where it's like. And no, he, I think, but I think, in that I think he, is, he was it, saying perception of him being this megastar and next to a megastar just it builds for a better story and a softer way to no, get things done. No, because he went on to say that no, he's the type of nigga that'll tell you don't fuck with that girl and then wife the girl the next day. So, well, those, so he, no, no, those are two different again, points. which is more shit Same that I'm shit just to like. Me. <laughs> shit. Also, How not? What was the first example I said? Of having Beyonce next to you makes. Access to rooms, it just because, makes you, it because, just it, the perception what of he's saying, that, which is probably true. It's very, it's fair. Yeah, yeah that's Beyonce fair. has certainly helped Hove's career. Absolutely. Absolutely. If I was with Beyonce, I'm bringing her to the meeting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> what the, what the, what the, yeah. Sorry, hey B, you're busy on Tuesday. That's yeah. not a knock. And Hove that's would say that too. That's not a knock at all. Yeah. Right. I'm saying it's the same because, and I'm getting this from his story. Not this, not my opinion. And we'll leave this soon because I want to mm. talk about all the JD shit and all this other shit and yeah. my pool party. Hold up for a minute. Let me let the next niggas know. <laughs> I'm mad this that's the, the record you chose <laughs> cause it's hilarious <laughs> and she came on earlier I was like holy shit rough ends <laughs> uh, I'm saying it's the same because I think Dame is looking at it like the end of us whether that's business personal whatever I don't know none of my business but the end of us led to you now and I think Beyonce was just his version of you now. So there was salt there in expressing it, but he's still saying, hey, it was this way, and then you switched up from whatever was said and then went a different route. Same thing as me coming to you and saying, yo, don't fuck with that girl, and later going to fuck with her. You're just not a man of your word, not a man of integrity. Your, your actions and your words don't match. I do think that while those situations may be different, I think the point he was trying to drive home was the same. Yeah. Yeah, but then the, the whack part about that is it comes out to to the JD now comes out on the radio V one hundred three in Atlanta, I think that's where it was at, and he clears up that whole situation. It was with Tigger um, saying that, that Jay didn't tell him not to take the deal. So again, now you speaking on something that's not true, and then here's everybody that was jumping on Jay back. Oh, that's fucked up, and then Jermaine Dupri's like, "What are y'all talking about? That's not true." And then now people are saying that Jay forced Jermaine Dupri to say that. <laughs> He told he didn't tell him not to take the deal. Yeah, he came. It's in, just he like came all right, in man. With Beyonce, he said, Jermaine, <laughs> Jermaine say you didn't say it, Jermaine. <laughs> yeah, Hov don't call these niggas by their little cool names. Think <laughs> 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 Hov is saying, "Hey, JD, nah, no, Jermaine, definitely not, De definitely not." <laughs> all right, uh, all right. So that was cute. That was fun. Two well, weeks, no, two I, weeks old. Great, awesome. I, I'll be sappy here. That's just the impact of Rockefeller. Like, we're still talking about yeah, you this. Niggas, you niggas. <laughs> That's damn. crazy that people still care. Company line, God, man. You damn, gotta respect it. Real. It's crazy that people it. still yeah. care about Rockefeller people, this huh? much. <laughs> so you said what? <laughs> Nothing. Let me work his shit off. I didn't hear what you said. No, I was saying that it's still crazy that people still care this much about Rockefeller and those two break up. Oh, I'm, I think that's going to be something that people care about for forever. Because it's such a big, uh, a big moment in our culture. The funny shit is I don't think niggas really care about it. No, they do. I totally disagree. I think okay, I think the, the tide is changing. I don't think these kids know shit about shit. I think. Oh well. Um, I think the Dame. If they did, well, Dame saying, saying all. Oh, us, yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, us. we'll always to the day I die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. uh, too too instrumental in my my growing up. And throughout all of this, both of them are loved equally. I feel like from from us. Mm -hmm. 
we all still love Dame. Mm-hmm. We all still love Hove. Mm-hmm. Like one hasn't their their perception of of who they are hasn't been diluted at all. Like we still all love Dame that much. You popping? Oh, Dame, that's Dame calling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Joe Budden from the Joe Budden Podcast. Real nigga record, CEO speaking. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, did you see my text? Uh, no. What did it say? I need, well, we just got a, a Oh, I'm looking. Going. Oh, here we go. A little bit more. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah, send me yeah, the yeah, cash app, nigga. We balling. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. All good. Make sure we was good. All right, cool, brother. We'll be there. No problems. <laughs> Come on, man. You need to know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Somebody get us off of this Dame and Jay topic. <laughs> Please. I've had enough. Uh, we They're not friendly right now. No. Everyone's being sued this week. Everyone's being sued? Uh, Spotify, of course, would never do anything wrong, but they are being sued by M's publisher. <gasps> <gasps> we, come on. We know this game. <laughs> <laughs> There must be a miscommunication. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these slanderous headlines. <laughs> it's the media. <laughs> the media. The media. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this guy. Yeah, look at our new thing that we're oh, doing hey. here. We're putting everything up here. Hey, we try to get to that next level. It's pretty awesome. I like that. Yeah. I like it. All right, what's happening? Eminem's Rate doing it. what? All right. <laughs> Eight Mile Style alleges lose yourself <laughs> and many of the rapper's hits aren't licensed by the streamer. Now comes the suit. I ain't Spotify's bill. Hey, y'all better wait till Spotify pay us. <laughs> hey, 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 wait till Friday, yeah. please. Hey, yeah. him and Paul, y'all better back it up, buddy. <laughs> we, we Get to the con- back of the take, bus. Yeah, we're in a contract <laughs> here. Now y'all want to find samples. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. a fucking recess on that court case. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, all right, Eminem's publisher, 8 Mile Style, has filed a major new lawsuit claiming Spotify has infringed hundreds of song copyrights and challenging the con... con- I can't see... Constitutionality. There we go. Constitutionality of a recent past music licensing law. In a suit filed Wednesday in federal court in Nashville, Eight Mile accuses Spotify of willful copyright infringement. Willful. They would never willfully do such a thing. (laughs) (laughs) Willful copyright infringement by reproducing Lose Yourself and about 250 of the rappers' song. That's what I said. You fucking reproduced a bunch of slaughterhouse fucking. Uh, 250 of the rapper's songs on his service to the tune of potentially billions of dollars in alleged damages. Nah. This is not the first... Uh... Get paid, young nigga, get paid. <laughs> they're white. Well, and they're both not young. Oh, <laughs> and they're both paid. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about fucking billionaires fighting. That's who fights the most. Yeah, they, they got it. Yeah, they, got they got the, the lawyer fight. money. Yeah, it's true. But this is something that's been happening for a while. A lot of uh, um, publishing companies and stuff are trying to sue Spotify for not clearing licensing protocols, which they're going to say is a mechanical thing. It's this is a, it's a big deal, long term. Impacts all of streaming. Why? Because they all uh, people are alleging that it's a licensing thing as opposed to a mechanical uh, royalty, like an album sale. It's basically album sales versus licensing. Oh no, they better not do that. I see what it's like. No, no, no. They got a leg to stand on. Oh God. Now I have to watch this. Yeah. It's been going through uh I think it was Warner Chapel or someone someone else big uh started this trend a few uh maybe a year ago. It's been kind of under the radar. And that may be actually one of the reasons there I think there may have been a settlement at some point with them. Okay. But then the music modernization act thing is gonna start Throwing some loopholes and all this shit. There's gonna be some big. Uh, Everybody's fucked. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Except for Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for real, Taylor Swift bought uh, the sweetest deal in the world. She fucking. Her album is dropping. She sold uh, that she now owns on her own. Sold a million copies before it dropped. And all that shit that Homeboy ran off and took the first five albums in a year, she could just re release all of it. Yeah. Well, she's got to re record them and re release it. Yeah. <laughs> guess guess what she is right now. I mean, they weren't the most. <laughs> guess what she is right now. That's the most complex yeah, yeah, record. Yeah, yeah. She's in <laughs> right. the studio right now. <laughs> right. Re recording. Would, right. uh, would you sue Spotify for your Pump It Up royalties? I still get my Pump It Up royalties. Well, you don't know. Maybe there's a sample you have, you've overlooked. There is a sample, which is why I only. No, get we all know it's what, a very recognizable I, sample. What, no, the sample. They get paid too. 
A Rab get paid. Listen, everybody to fuck with Joe get paid. Well, now. <laughs> Today. Just waiting for the now look part. At, yeah, look, I've seen Parks chiming in. <laughs> Ready to jump in and say something. Yeah, oh, I got a, a backlog <laughs> right here. Uh. E1, we're still coming for you, niggas. That's a fact. <laughs> Don't That's think I fact. forgot about that money. I ain't forget about that money. Um, what up? What up? What else we got? Drake is suing over in my feelings and nice yeah. for what? Why don't He's you niggas start suing. asking asking the people that you steal from? How about that? <laughs> well, <laughs> first of all, I think Drake got the beats from Murder Beats. I don't know who did in my feelings. Oh, Murder Beats. I don't know. Oh wait, did Shiggy do in my feelings? I don't uh, know. I don't, I don't know, know, know anything. Did Shiggy? <laughs> Maybe he produced it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh uh, well, yeah, I don't think that that's was him. that's the unfortunate shit when you just grab a beat from a producer. <laughs> Should probably double check. What's homeboy with the metal leg? Quentin Miller. All right, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even trying. I answered you. Is that offensive? Uh, His leg is metal. Qu- Quentin Miller. Yes. <laughs> that was the end. That's all I wanted to no, know. No, 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 I take that. If that's the punchline, no, we can't. No, that. I just, that's the end. No, 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 no. You better have a point I to drop have no, with the all. metal leg no, joke. No, nothing. Yeah, I know. I didn't I have nothing to say. No, no, no. But you better just have trying to remember to who he was. That's it. Huh? Did in my feelings? Okay. I hate Savon's shirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it? It, it definitely you? looks like you got let Marshalls. Yeah, hey, you better start caring how you come to work, nigga. <laughs> you gotta throwing... wear uniforms. Yeah, he wouldn't wear that shit to need to know. <laughs> don't wear it over here. Yeah. He actually wore. Don't need to know. For real, Damn, he's outfit yeah. repeating. It's crazy. <laughs> you repeat outfits. Yeah. Peasant. Peasant. <laughs> this nigga's a peasant. peasant. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is happening? Uh, let's uh, say some prayers for for T Grizzly's aunt slash manager. Yeah. That 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 was murdered in Detroit, uh, two days ago, day mm-hmm. ago. Yeah. That was horrible news. Very horrible. Drive by shooting. Uh, from what I'm what I'm reading, I don't I don't know the condition of T Grizzly. I don't think that was released, but uh, certainly rest in peace to, to his manager slash aunt, uh, who was killed. Uh, rest in peace. Our prayers. Our condolences. Uh, to the in, entire entire squad over there, man. That, I, I can't imagine it. Yeah. I, I cannot imagine it. Yeah, from my understanding, uh, him and the other passenger weren't hit. She, she was the only one that was hit. So, Damn. Sad, man. Super sad. Yeah. yeah. Super, yeah, def- super, super sad yeah. news. Young uh, young woman as well, which, which is always unfortunate. Yeah, but for yeah, real. My heart hurts a different type of way when women are killed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's always uh, a rougher one to deal with. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So yeah, man, prayers out to T Grizzly. Prayers to T Grizzly's fans, family, friends, loved ones. Important that hip hop come together for our people, man. Who had the Popeye's chicken sandwich? Come on. I gave everybody you? a week. I gave everybody a week. I think just you. You can, you can Uber Eats it. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still haven't. That's no excuse. Of I, have a, course, I have a Popeye's like across the street from my crib. Of course you haven't, Roars. Have you, Parks? <laughs> no, I have First not. of all, I was I was rocking with Popeye's before the hype in the mm. sandwich, like when they were underground. None of <laughs> you. You just on because they mainstream now. Mm. Are they main? Yeah. <laughs> they sold. They're they pop. moved. They moved like six million dollars. That's a pop yeah, sandwich. Some shit. Oh, just off sandwiches. Oh, black people, black Twitter. Not even just black people, but boy, we just one day we will truly understand our marketing leverage. <laughs> <laughs> God, yo, do you think that Popeyes had 30, 30 million to the side to promote this sandwich? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They was going to put that shit in the store and hope for the best. 
Like, why do we fucking just give up? Oh, my goodness gracious. I read that article that said it was worth about $30 million in advertising. I was like, oh, yeah. got you again, mm-hmm. niggers. <laughs> yep. Got you again. But I knew that Rory didn't do his due diligence. I knew that Parks didn't do his due diligence. <laughs> Maul, Maul, have you had a sandwich? I don't Maul eat chicken. Maul chicken. It's bird-ass nigga. <laughs> um, <laughs> bird-ass nigga. How was the chicken? sandwich, Joe? Give us the review. Oh, I see a, you double down twice. Oh, I'm a nigga nigga. Yeah, no. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that shit is good. It looks good. Oh, no, you don't have to look. I brought one here. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga full of full-dressed B- chicken sandwiches. Bust that shit, <laughs> bust that shit down, <laughs> yeah. man. Fair. Hell no. Yo, you a Fair. nasty. What? You How long have you been sitting in your backpack? I bought this here <laughs> chicken from Rory Park. Out of your book bag? <laughs> I knew that they would not have had Ooh, this great ass ass nigga. Yeah. This yeah. shit is no, great. Right. Right. No, hey, 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 save on, get a button knife. Bust, bust, bust that thing down. Let my white Yo. brothers get a little chicken, Yo, man. That's, that, that's how the Uber Eats nigga showed up with my salmon and potatoes. In a book bag. Nah, that's a good... Never mind. Parks just ripped it with his bare yeah, hands yeah. like a fucking yeah. heathen. Yeah. Parks is from uh, yeah, he's not classy. Upstate New York. That's how they get out. Mm-hmm. That's a good sandwich. Now I don't. I think the chicken is different. Like it's like steroids in a chicken. Oh, for sure. Well, listen, all, all their chicken. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a brolic chicken. Yeah, that's not a chicken. That's a, that's ostrich. One hundred percent. But that's uh, ostrich, ostrich is good. Yeah, even cold. The pickle adds a nice That's what I'm saying, nigga. To it. They was hating on the pickle. The pickle is good on the sandwich. That's what P- gives the pickle it that adds little, a that texture tang. to it. With the little special sauce. Yeah, <clears throat> I know. By the way, I watch a lot of cooking shows, and I realize all you have to do is talk about the texture. Mm-hmm. Every bite they take. So the texture. Yeah. It's really as Once you say texture, really it makes it seem feeling. like you know what you're talking about. Texture is very important, yeah. by the way. And, and my palate is very mature. So, yeah. of course, I would You look know. like you have a mature palate. You look like it. <laughs> Why am I always impressed when niggas use the word palate? <laughs> it never with, fails. With texture? It never fails. Coming off a of texture? It's like, oh, let me listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what else, what other words he knows. Let me see what he has to say. <laughs> it's a solid chicken sandwich. Yeah. It's, it's pretty so good. What are you giving on a scale of one to five? Uh, you know, seven. First of all, seven. On a one to five? five? One to five. Nobody, I'm yeah. sorry. Nobody one does one a scale of one to yeah, five. Nah. Yeah. Okay, one to ten. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. But what is it battling? Six, six, eight. The McChicken? No, probably Wendy's. Wendy's makes a good chicken sandwich. Oh, we're just I mean, talking fast. Oh, it's talking fast, fast food. food. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an eight. If we're just talking fast food. Yeah. It's, it's, well, Chick Fil A. They, they they're supposed to be battling Chick Fil A. Uh, that's, that's the. I never yeah. like Chick Fil A. No. I'm not the biggest Chick Fil A guy either. Uh, it's chicken, bis- good. chicken biscuits, all right. Who's ready to play Connect the Dots with me? I'm sorry. Chick Fil A is great. Who's sauce. ready to play Connect the Dots with me? What would you say? Chick Fil A is great sauce. They're not the best chicken. That's not bad sauce on there though. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good. sandwich. Rory, you see, he, st- he ain't stopped biting it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I was the whole sandwich <laughs> on like, the mic. I don't know if the viewers know. We don't eat dinner when we record this podcast. Or we, breakfast. On, we only yeah. <laughs> we only eat chips, so it's yeah. nice to have a meal. Chips at and podcast. beer. <laughs> so you yeah, are king I, right now. I don't eat here. The fucking dumbass trainer. Let me not say that for you. Strangle yeah, me no, with his yeah. beer yeah. arm. Yeah. The trainer want to end the session at ten. Like shit is still open after that. Mm-hmm. So no, just get a meal prep. No, nigga, a meal yeah. prep. No, I'm not getting a meal prep or the little strawberry banana protein. I, I respect them. This is good after workout, though. No, nah, they great, great. Yeah, after the workout, you would bust that shit down. <laughs> I, I, sure. I respect the discipline of all those people that do the meal prep on Instagram, but I just I can see the sadness in their eyes when it's seven pieces of salmon and seven bowls of brown rice for the whole week. I'm yeah. like, you're sad. I can yeah, see it in your yeah, eyes. You're eating the same you're thing sad. every night for dinner. You're sad. Oh, you threw some cilantro on it. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Spice no. things up a little bit. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> But like the vegan niggas that post, oh, there's, there's no meat in this burger. Yeah. Nigga, oh, you're this, miserable. This, bu- this <laughs> buffalo cauliflower tastes just like the wings. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It don't. It you're don't. a loser. I've had buffalo cauliflower. Death. It tastes nothing like buffalo it doesn't. wings. Yeah. Trust me. Uh, come on, who's ready to play Connected Dots? This is the best Impossible Burger I've ever had. Just impossible Burgers are pretty good. I would they give them that. Good. Who yes. makes Impossible Burger? Impossible. Burger King has one now. Dunkin' Donuts has one too. For real? I saw that today on the train. Burger I don't King want a Dunkin' Donuts Impossible, impossible Burger. Yeah, I ain't gonna coffee. lie. Burger King, you bet you guys better step it up. <laughs> no, and I love, yo, was... and no, Burger King in the ad is you still using like that late 90s fucking uh, customer shit. Like, it tastes just like the regular Whopper. Like, that's their whole market. And they're like, fam, we're not yeah, in the, the no. Pepsi versus Cola yeah, commercials. Yeah. Like, oh, it tastes way better. Like, no. And yeah. nobody can tell yeah. it. And then at the Pepsi bottom, it's like, Cola. these are not actors. Yeah. We don't even like the cartoon, <laughs> cartoony King. With the funny looking mustache. Nah, he's mustache. creepy. Yeah, he, he looks yeah, rapey. He he's creepy. He's, he's not Like, how do you look more rapey than Ronald McDonald? <laughs> yeah. And he was Irish. Yeah. It's a fact. I think we came to that conclusion. Redhead. Redhead McDonald. Mc- McDonald. Yeah. I'm rolling. I always thought he was shady. Ronald? Yeah. 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 How many times you have big, big How do you feel feet? about the hamburglar? 
He's definitely shady. <laughs> and no, first now I think about it. Well, as a kid, every Ronald McDonald's I... whole crew was kind of. Yeah. That was a nasty crew. They were stealing burgers. burgers. But as a kid, Grimace. Every time I, <laughs> a, every time I went thing. to McDonald's as a That's kid, Grimace. I never saw any of them niggas by the little playpen. That's what made me think mm. he was shady. Yeah, nah, like, why I only see these dudes in the commercial? Grimace, Ronald. Why they, is they be in the kitchen? They never buy the playpen. <laughs> they be in the back, Joe. Yeah. Oh, shit, all right. They make good fries. You guys ever have your birthday party at McDonald's? Fries. What? You guys ever have your birthday party at McDonald's? Oh, of course. You I just want to make sure I'm. Have a oh yeah, want to make sure I'm rocking with to. like <laughs> people I should be hanging out with. Now nah, that's when they brought all us community service niggas over there that day. <laughs> yeah, let y'all go in the playpen. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had we was hungry after cleaning the highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get you some food. Yeah. After cleaning the turnpike. Yo, shout out to the. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas clean the turnpike, you heard? Yo. <laughs> Tell someone go clean the turnpike? Clean the whole yo, turnpike. Yo, clean that whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> y'all laughing too. It's a girl there you like. Mm. You want to know what she in there for. Uh, what you did. <laughs> uh, I'm cleaning with her. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes with her. Find out she stabbed yes. her boyfriend. <laughs> that's sexy. <laughs> that's like, that's your speed. Connect the dots. Let's do it. Chick asked me the other day. So I've been meaning to ask you. I didn't want to be invasive. Already invasive or intrusive or, Which here, here or, comes Some real personal questions I didn't questions. want to ask you Anything too personal If you don't want to share this I don't then But now I have you to you don't have to But Do you know the person That stabbed you And gave you the cut On your stomach <laughs> I said like, yeah My my first son's mom <laughs> <laughs> No she just dropped Trey off <laughs> yeah. She was just here her face dropped to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. See, that's what bitches get asking shit yeah. ain't on their business. My baby mom, she's sitting right um, there. Connect the dots. Connect <laughs> no, the dots. That, that right, happened at our first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No. No, more. no. no, no, connect no. The no. I want to know. I want to nah, know. I want to That happened at the first Spotify shoot. One of them execs actually, when you had your shirt off, like, oh, you got your appendix out, Jerry? He's like, nah, my baby mom stabbed me. And she thought you were joking. She's like, she uncomfortably was like, <laughs> and you're like, nah, dead ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why niggas think your baby moms can't stab you. Oh no, she can. Yeah, it's and will. Is that still going on? I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Niggas That'll still never die. Stabbed by their baby moms. See, and I'm mad at Sin putting a single out. I better chill. <laughs> Yo, connect the dots. Just, just go man. Man. Let's connect the dots. Connect the dots. I've been dying to connect the dots. Oh, now you yeah. guys want to now want to connect the dots? Come on, let's fucking play connect the dots. Let's play it. Uh, the rainforest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where I'm at here with this. Fire. That's the first Very dot. Important. Okay, the fire. All right, mm-hmm. first dot down. Yeah, worry. <laughs> well, it, we, we do have to connect dots. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's just dot. establishing. I'm, a I'm dot. putting the first pin. Yeah. So where's the other dot? Amazon is right no, here. No, the other dot is coming later. The dot. Uh, listen, they're not impressed with how you connect the dots if you just give them all the dots. Uh, oh, fine. We have to find the dots. Well, you have to start with a dot. Okay. Okay. Then later on, bring up another dot. Got gotcha. it. Oh, I don't see where he was going okay. with this one. Mm-hmm. So let's start here. Amazon rainforest, whole bunch of shit on fire. Yes. Uh, everyone's aware. Yes. Absolutely. What do you guys, What do you guys think? It's fucked up. It's crazy. It's terrible. I mean, but they are doing. I, I do like the fact that social media is pulling together, and they're trying to get volunteers and people out there and donating to, to do the right. what. To do what? They donate to, to the do right what? organizations. To do what? Volunteers see, now, let's, stop. let's 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 stop. That's what I'm here for. To connect the dots. Let's stop the bullshit. Uh, we have a podcast, so we can just say what the fuck we think is going on. None of you niggas' money is doing anything. I mean, you don't know that. I do know it. I know you don't. You can speculate. I am speculating. Yeah. None of you niggas' money is doing anything. Mm-hmm. It's a good speculation. <laughs> well, yeah, what the <laughs> hell is Maul talking about? I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying you Maul, don't know for a fact. I do know for a fact. No, they think don't. we're fucking idiots. No, you don't. Speculate, but speculate, please. Every yeah, time you sent a dollar to four, why do I need to speculate? Haiti, it went somewhere else. Well, let's start with the rainforest is on fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's start there. Okay. How does the rainforest get on fire? And I need to talk to this, talk to y'all about this because I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. But help me. How does the rainforest catch on fire? Catch on fire for weeks. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Even in my little pyro days, I was having trouble lighting dry leaves, let alone drenched green ones. Forest fires are a thing, guys. In the rainforest? I mean, it's crazy, but I'm sure that there's... I wouldn't be surprised if it was started by some sort of agricultural uh, mishap or not a mishap. Or well, they were trying to clear cut some shit to make... Yeah, well, man, they was the cooking forest. some coke. CNN is reporting <laughs> that, 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 that... No... Uh, 
Uh, no nat. This fire is not a natural fire. It's not from uh, it being dry land season right. over there. They're reporting that a fire of this magnitude that spreads off across however many I can read the article, however many acres, had to be manufactured. Had to be human human made. Not surprised. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. They're stupid. I can see them doing that, trying to build some shit over there. Yeah, they're trying to clear cut it to, you know, raise cattle or, yeah, build yeah. some shit. Or- Amazon didn't want to come to Queens. They want to go to the Amazon rainforest. I get it. <laughs> Just connect the dots. Did Jeff Bezos did that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying connect the dots, but I'd be home with my, and again, I don't know very much. I'd be home just trying to figure out how stupid they think we are. Very stupid. Because this is a different time, and it's important to pay attention to this stuff because. Yeah, I just ate a steroid chicken. <laughs> Sixty million dollars worth. What was the first? Yo, yo stop they trying made? to connect dots, Mo. Oh. <laughs> 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 Blank connected dots. Connect the chicken dots, man. Yeah. Well, that was the first dot because you know they control the media, which normally controls the narrative, which has the people thinking whatever they think. Absolutely. Today is the first day and age you can't really control the media, so mm-hmm. we can really think whatever the fuck we want to think. Mm-hmm. And if these niggas think that I believe <laughs> that the Amazon rainforest is just on fire for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks at a time, nobody and they put it out there. Mm-hmm. Why they won't put it out? Right. That's a good, very good question. No, I'm with you. Yeah, this Someone is been, it's shady. It's, it's, been, it's, it's, been, it's, on, way, it's been way on, too much space that's not being utilized. It's been on fire for weeks. Eighteen days, okay. something like that. Yeah, we put a man on the moon. Word allegedly. Jeff Bezos oh, got three no, trillion no, I'm dollars. With you. I'm with more. He, I don't even think it's a legend. I don't think we did none of that shit. What I'm saying is, does this not have all of the optics of modern colonization? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. How come nobody's saying it? <laughs> no, people are saying it. I've seen that on my Instagram feed quite a bit. Before this, though, even before this fire, yeah, people have been saying that. For sure. Absolutely. That's not a secret. <clears throat> not at all. I wasn't saying that. Been yeah. said. Absolutely. What are they going to do over there? I'll build some shit. Yeah, I read something about the president of Brazil is shady. It's, it's and, like Trump. Yeah. Doesn't believe in it's climate Brazil, change. Brazilian Trump. Doesn't believe in any of that shit, is pro-business, whatever that fucking means, and we'll just ruin all of our natural resources to get a buck. Yeah. Yeah. The nationalist. The rise of the nationalist uh, leaders. All of the indigenous people kicked out of their homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't have any kids, honestly. I'm scared to bring kids into this world. There's a lot of people like you. Seriously. There's a lot. That's it. I believe that in 60 years, this entire planet is going to look and feel totally different. I may not be here to see it, but if I have kids, they will be here. At the rate that things are going, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. You think that's selfish? No. That I don't want to bring a kid into this world. No, I think it's quite the opposite. I think it's selfish to say I want kids and then bring them in as some bullshit just because you want some kids. Yeah, no. That's more selfish than not wanting them. Yeah. This world is crazy. Yeah. But nah, 60 years, 60 years in, in this generation, it's like 150 years in the last generation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe more. Yeah. So, no, but reproductive rates are way down in the U.S. and abroad, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, yes. I mean, Certainly in the U.S. Start families when they was 19 and have about 15 kids. Right. Now everyone's trying to be cool and 35. <laughs> <laughs> I want to travel the world. See, Parks, look, this is an article from CNN I'm reading. Mm-hmm. The Amazon is burning, and humans are likely to blame. Environmental organizations and researchers say the wildfires blazing in the Brazilian rainforest were set by cattle ranchers and loggers who want to clear and utilize the land emboldened by the country's pro-business president. There you go. Farmers and ranchers have long used fire to clear land and are likely to be and are likely behind the unusually large number of fires burning in Amazon today. Uh, the country's space research uh, said this week that the number of fires in Brazil are 80% higher than last year. More than half are in the Amazon region, spelling disaster for the local environment and ecology. And 99% of the fires result, uh, and 99% of the fires result from human actions, either on purpose or by accident. So, yeah, while it may be dry land season or whatever over there right this second, right. we don't believe that these fires increased 
no. over a year, right? That was done on purpose. So it says that the Brazilian Trump-like pro-business president is now just burning a bunch of shit over there for what? Cows. The land. Just the ability to build shit. Rebuild shit. You look like the hero now, too. Like, wow, look at him overcoming they, this tragedy and putting our country back with together. A, uh, condos with a view of the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That'd be kind of dope. I think weed. They want to grow weed? Yeah. Amazon rainforest? I'll smoke it. Of course you would. That's the fucking finest soil in the world. Yeah. Currently being refertilized by burning trees. Mm-hmm. And cow shitting. So now that land is going to be a piece of shit for however long. Uh, no, de- <clears throat> no developer is going to rush there to build in however many years. So now you're going to have Agent X come and say, hey, I can do X, Y, Z to this land and nobody's going to do anything with for however long. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing I thought about doing in, in fucking Brooklyn. Somebody in New York is going to go put up a storefront and, and promote their business of weed that's coming soon. Granted, it's not legal now, but it will be. You would be. It would be worth all the branding and marketing <laughs> to just have a storefront there yeah. and just pay for the next. Ha- and I think that's what's happening over there. And I thought it even more when I read about the mistake law that they passed in Texas, mm-hmm. that says hemp is now legal in Texas, red state, mm-hmm. by mistake. Right. Where's that article? Hold up, I have it because that one is interesting. Red State, niggas is in jail for X amount of years over there for weed. Right. And now, by mistake, it's legal. Texas has legalized hemp. Mm-hmm. So to the people that have no idea, all right, we'll read this. Early this year, the, legislate, uh, the, the legislator, make that bigger, please pause. The legislator of the great state of Texas passed HB 1325, a bill that legalized the production of hemp and thus the market for products containing CBD which is derived from hemp. Mm -hmm. The Republican-controlled Texas House of Representatives voted 140 to 3. 140 to 3 in Texas. (laughs) Yeah, that's wild. To pass the bill's final version on May 22nd. On June 10th, Governor Greg Abbott, also Republican, signed it into law effective immediately. The measure's proponents did not intend it to affect... See, stop right there. That's the, that's the, that's the, stop, 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 stop. I don't need to hear about all that. Don't beat me down about what they didn't intend. They didn't know that they would be legalized. Did not intend to affect existing state laws prohibiting the sale or possession of marijuana. That's bullshit. That's a lie. They know exactly what they're doing. So they legalized weed in the red state. hmm Why? <laughs> the money. Yeah, they that's it. clearly have... Some connections into it. Texas, they have a lot of land. <coughs> Mexico's right there. A lot of land. That was my next question. Where's Brazil at? <clears throat> Central America. Well, no, South America. Isn't South it South underneath America. where? It's by the Amazon. I'm sorry. The Amazon's where? South America. South America. So Where's country, South America? Couple countries. It's, it's in South, South America. America. South America. You want the coordinates? I don't have that. It's a <laughs> continent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you was waiting for the coordinates. Yeah. I'm like, uh, Joe, I don't know. I'm not that prepared. Colombia, Pr- Peru, Brazil. See, here we go. Thank you, Savon. Thank you, Savon. This is what I'm looking for. This is South America, right? Come here. The blue dot is where we are. That's North America. <laughs> what? what are you <laughs> Where's Texas? It's right below Texas. Right there. No. Like, it's not right. It's, it's not. Right. South Two thousand miles Te- from Texas. Texas is right there. Granted, it's right below Texas. It's not right below Texas. It's by Texas. We're Ooh, by Brazil? Texas. By the same. I, I, Brazil is not by Texas. Not it's by, not by te- Texas. I mean, do, what's your definition of Man, by? It's fucking close enough. God damn it. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I know how it looks in your palm right now, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but let me let me give you a drone yeah. aerial view. It's not the same. I think it's connected. No, that's what I think. I don't, no, I'm not saying I that. don't think that they mistakenly passed oh, no. the bill in Texas oh, no, yeah, and they're yeah, letting yeah. fires burn wherever the fuck they're letting them I burn. I see where you're going with it. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah, I don't care where it's at in relation. That's what I think is happening. And why is nobody saying it? That's all I'm asking. Well, I, I think people just... Because if this law is a mistake, then when are they going to fix it? <laughs> After they make about $2 billion. Right. They probably just won't. Yeah. They probably was going to decriminalize it anyway and it just happened earlier than they wanted it to. Uh, let's read. Uh, let me skip over this bullshit. However, in landmark edition, and uh, yeah, that's bullshit. Uh, the practical problem they're staring down is that the law distinguishes between hemp and marijuana, 
by reference to the percentage of THC. what's that word? Just THC. THC. Uh, THC, which is the psychoactive compound. The statute defines anything with a THC concentration of less than 0.3% as hemp, which may be sold at your local health food. Basically, there's no way for them to dif- differentiate the shit. Like, no. if they legalize hemp and you run by with some weed, they can't do anything. They don't have the manpower. They don't have the equipment to be able to distinguish the difference. They can't, uh, they can't run tests on the spot. They just never know. And they're not going to retroactively go back and let people out in the red state over weed, right? But that's no, what absolutely not. If you're caught with what the not police doing that blue states. illegal marijuana and you count it as perfectly legal hemp, Texas is not capable of proving otherwise. So now everybody in Texas that's smoking weed, I'm like, this is hemp. Okay, but what about the people that are still in jail for weed in Texas? But that's still happening in blue states where people... Well, if, when where, they decriminalize... Been decriminalized, they're still in jail. Yeah, mm-hmm. but a lot of people will be... Obviously, those cases will be thrown out and people well, will they're, be Well, they're taking a mighty fucking long time with a lot of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's going to take a long time. Mm-hmm. Also, did y'all hit um, the supervisor that was on duty for the Eric Garner shit? Mm-hmm. They got her out of here, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad. That's a round of applause. Yeah. Right. That's good. Thank you. All right, so fine. I'm moving to Texas and I'm shipping weed from the uh, Amazon rainforest. <laughs> uh, we haven't bring it through. <laughs> Where I'm gonna bring it through? <laughs> There's about 15 <laughs> countries on your way. It's more. On your way, way there. I'm gonna bring it through. Okay. These yeah. All right. Have fun with the Mexican Good cartels luck. on your way through. Good luck. <laughs> Listen, this is this is uh this is prime American bullshit where you make somebody dependent on you for some shit. This is prime American bullshit where you just go steal some shit. Mm-hmm. Just steal a whole. Whatever. Oh, rainforest. Yeah. Oh shit! You saw um that Tom Cruise movie where the CIA pays him to go down to Brazil, wherever the fuck it is, to fly the coke into America. It was a true story. Oh yeah. It's like blow. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't blow. blow. That was with Johnny Depp. It was kind of recent. I forgot. Damn, what movie? I saw this movie. Tom, I like this movie. Tom Cruise. It was yeah, one of the last Tom Cruise movies I've, I've probably enjoyed. It was something made or made, it was like made in America. Was it not plugging the festival? But it was something like that. American made. I think it's American made. Damn, did I see this movie? American made, yeah. It's not the first story we've heard of the CIA or the government funding people to bring drugs into America. It's the story of Barry Seal, the pilot. There you go. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. It was a good movie. movie. Yeah, it was it was definitely a good movie. I would like to see it. (laughs) And then when he got caught, the CIA was like, I've never even seen you in my life. Like real (laughs) like real ones. Yeah, exactly. That's what they should do. The Amazon forest produces about 20% of the world's oxygen and is often called the planet's lungs. <laughs> We're fucked. Well, they about to put some weed in them lungs. <laughs> some good sour about it, yeah. But we've been fucked. Ain't that how climate, climate change came about? Because they're drilling, they drilling somewhere they shouldn't be drilling? Yeah. Part for, of it. For, yeah. For everywhere. oil? Yeah. yeah. Everywhere that they drill. will also make the uh, atmosphere fucked up? Yeah. Yeah, it might be with mall, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Go watch Total might, Recall. Might what, be a little that Damon and I don't really feel that way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that they love each other? <laughs> what part you want with more? Listen, man. About the kids. But no, nah, if, if you don't think the Amazon is independent, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Listen, just put it out. Please. That's it. Put it out. Yeah. They gonna put it out. No, they're not. Animals. They gonna let that shit burn for the next six months. Speaking of uh, fucked up American jail system, you see that Trump uh, pass, pass, is trying to pass some legislation that would uh, allow them to detain the migrants for infinity, essentially. They, there's previously a law from a lawsuit, uh, the Flores Agreement, that stated that they could only stay there for <clears throat> 60 days. And now he's trying to pass something that would allow them to stay indefinitely. Damn, murderers get life and immigrants get infinity. <laughs> the fuck? These niggas are nuts what they're doing out here. <laughs> yes. That's nasty. Yeah. <sighs> Good I, luck. Yo, this election race is going to be, it's going to make my stomach hurt. Yeah. <laughs> The election gonna get all us black niggas killed. We're gonna have a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be home. Oh! 
<laughs> you can't my, take it. My tummy. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's rough. No one likes a tummy ache. Good luck, though. <laughs> I ain't let this rock last time. I'm letting it rock. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm getting some sick ass text messages about this pool party. Huh? I'm getting some, people hitting me that I haven't spoken to in four years. You know I the bet. vibes. <laughs> what the fuck is? What it's been about four years since my, the last pool party, so that makes what sense. What makes you think that? Uh, I never. Mind. Yo, when a nigga start, what makes you think? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand how I would never do no shit like that. No. Nah. But she's like, what? You didn't tell us anything. If yet. I didn't speak to you in four years. I'm not going to hit your phone asking about coming to a pool party. Nah, sometimes that's when it's fire. Nah. <laughs> if I ain't spoke to you in four years and you hit me up. Don't hit my fucking phone, man. <laughs> Rory has some shit in his little engagement party I ain't spoke to in a while. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's where you be at. Yeah, <laughs> it's I mean. where you be at. It's where I could catch you. He got security, right? Yes. Nah, Joe said he could fight. <laughs> I can fight. Joe's just going to fight everyone at the door. <laughs> everyone at the door. <laughs> I can fight, and we have security. Okay. I will fight with them. <laughs> I stand with Cole and Glad. <laughs> Behind them. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Uh, did you guys see the latest gender wars? I, di- I didn't. Snoop versus the women's. Oh no! Snoop, oh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop versus the women's. Oh God! What do you say? I'll play you the clip. It's scary. Cause I'm tired of seeing girls shaking their booties and showing their titties and feeling like they gotta, oh, yeah. you know, show their ass. You can be something different. Use your mind. Like cover your body up. Oh, yeah. Let a man have some imagination and think and be like one of them women in the in the in the office up in there. Change some shit around this motherfucker. Do that. Boy, that boy did that have the women up in arms. I bet. Bare arms. The fact that he wants women to respect themselves more and think high, more highly of themselves? No, the fact that that's a man thinking he can tell a woman what to do or how to behave or how to dress. It's called policing bodies. It is, Roy. Yeah. Because he said he's tired of seeing them shaking their ass and half naked on social No, no, media. no, no, no. That's his opinion. He's fine there. He went on to say <laughs> what they should be doing. Mm. And okay. that's where he goes wrong. That's when women will say, hold up, nigga. You don't get to tell us what we should be doing. Mm-hmm. I want to shake some ass and show my titties. Okay. Also, Which I'm, is I'm fine. cool with it, yeah. That's still, that's still <laughs> like, it's fine by me. Though you can't, when, once I saw Kendrick getting killed for that line in, uh, I forgot what the record was, the last single, when he said, show me something natural, oh, and yeah. got killed for that, I was yeah. like, there's no win. Like, just shut up on this topic. You know, yeah. th- this, is, this is why life is funny. Snoop Dogg has not seen the Ain't No Fun video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Or, or the G-Thing, G-Thing video. Snoop that Dogg. song is potentially about gang rape. If or you really the, look at the, the Gin and Juice video. Which one? The, which, which one of these songs? No, but this is... <laughs> all, no, of, all of them no, is no, like no, a long no, gang no, rape story. No, no, no. This is why... This is why... <laughs> that was the concept album? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, Holy shit That shit was real gang rapey <laughs> Jen and Juice at the house party Fresh from the beach volleyball game At G-Thing That's one of my favorite albums man Y'all ruined me things too. for me That shit was a classic <laughs> It's just funny that That was a weird valley- volleyball game though, in That was the G-Thing lit vid. No was I was lit. out I paused it Yeah Fuck that was one of my first yeah. Beat off experiences <laughs> Maybe Shorty lost a bra No it's homie pulled did you, it off Did you see like oh. years later They uh they leaked the picture of without the blurred shit. No, the video. On the was time the video came out years later. Not just the picture. Yeah, okay. the, the vid was well, out. I saw something on the BT Uncut. Great. Yeah, that was on BT Uncut. Yeah, that was a naughty boy. Was when, <laughs> when BT Uncut was out. A naughty boy. It, it, oh, it, it's just funny that Snoop was the same dog, the same guy that was same dog. The the, the feds dog. was trying to ban his music because. He was d- degrading women, right? And here he is, years later, trying to tell women growth, and they and they're killing and the women are killing him. Like, when did the just, feds try to ban Snoop's music because he was degrading they, women? They tried. They did. They tried it with NWA. They tried it with with Snoop. Uh, NWA and Two Live Crew and Ice T. No, but then also it happened with uh, I forgot. Was it Maxine Waters? Who Maybe was, so. Uh, trying to get okay. uh, Snoop's music banned. She went to like Congress, or she, she was trying to get everyone. They yeah. rhymed words together. Yeah. They was trying to ban his music. Y'all never told me where Snoop is on y'all list. 26. Really? Yeah. 
His sliders are up in a lot of categories. They, yeah, cer- I love they certainly are. But when he said one plus uh, two plus two, that equals four. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, does it not? You, you no, that did, was, no, that was you, hard. No, you can't tell. You can't tell it to me in a rap though. Like, you, in conversation, maybe I'm like, yeah, you, you right. want him to show his work, huh? You want him to show his work? <laughs> yeah, but it's see like, why he carried the two. Yeah, I, I, I knew that already, Snoop. Like, I knew two well, plus two equals four. Twenty six. It reminds you. I thought Parks would add Snoop Iyer in twenty six because uh, of, of Doggy Style and how you feel about it. Yeah, I mean, just I, he's not like the most lyrical. Snoop miracle. was left off a lot of people's list. Yeah. He might be higher than twenty six, but somewhere. But that's when you add, add the slides. That's when you add the sliders into it. It's not fair with Snoop because Snoop would be top five, God forbid, if he had passed away early in his career. Like that's it's unfair yeah, I'm so when sick someone of that has Rory, Rory with that this logic. I hear, I hear Rory say that. A lot. Admit, all right, you have to time, stop being time, so negative, Nancy. Time stop kills, killing people. <laughs> time kills legacies, so it's not fair with someone that's had a thirty year career and has been that long to make mistakes and put out shit when they wasn't even really trying to put shit out just for the fuck of it. Like it's not fair. Time has not killed the top three best rappers in the world. Legacy that's Hove, uh, Nas, and me. <laughs> time has done nothing but advance the, the top three. <laughs> So you must be talking about a different, different about a different list. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. He's talking about Rosemary's list. I was, I was talking about, talking about groups. My bad. <laughs> He's talking about the twenties and shit. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they be doing. Down what there. they be doing in the twenties? <laughs> you gotta ask them niggas. <laughs> You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even poly with that. Yeah, with a, with a 20? Yeah, nah. With a 20. Nah. Maybe, maybe a teen, but not a 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Scarface could kick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not kicking it with them dickens in the teens. Uh, what else is important? Is there anything else? About- Maul, are we talking to Rory at all at the party today? He gonna yes. Be, he's going to be his fiance. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I don't wait, whatever. Rory, yeah, Rory I might just have to give yeah, you dap yeah, on yeah. the walk in when I see you at the pool party and then leave you alone after that. Damn, what happened? I mean, you know, you just married, bro. And probably uh, gonna talk to Parks. Parks, you married too. The four actually, of us y'all gotta, yeah, somewhere. Actually, yeah, y'all gotta nah. sing your own the section. The married section? Yeah. yeah. Y'all gotta drink like mint julep. We might and be shit. on a different vibe. <laughs> I love mint julep. Yeah, y'all gotta drink mint julep. That's not bad. Shit yeah. like that. Like, that's what y'all want mint julep. Yeah. You bring thanks, the simple thanks, syrup. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do y'all. Thanks, guys. Just thanks. We'll be over here. Nah, I got till like 4 p.m. Me and Maul didn't like how you was acting at Daylight shit. At Della shit. <laughs> Daylight shit. How was I acting? Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Safe. He's acting like you wanted to keep your engagement going. The nerve of me, right? Yeah, man. Nigga barely spoke to us over there. <laughs> what was you, you was playing spades for two hours. Me and Maul was kicking it. My little spade partner can't even come. Damn. Mm. You have a spades table at the uh, party? 100%. Okay. Spades table would be there. Nice. Nude spades. <laughs> I was gonna say I want in, but I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Nude space. All right, no, it's not nude space. What else is uh, really important to get to? Oh, Al Green, we've got a hot take for your ass, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Roars, get him. <laughs> this get was your Roars. hot take. I just did the research because I agree with you. Well, yeah, Al give, Green. Give, give him the backstory. Al Green was uh, what's the backstory? I had the Hawks was playing some Al Green, and Rory said, "Hey, that nigga's toxic," and I said, "I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree." The great Al Green. Al Green is toxic, and Rory can prove it. These little Rory segments are starting to become my favorite segments. Okay, by the way. I want you to toxic prove Rory this. segments. Yeah, I love it. All right, we can start. And by the way, I love Al Green. We need a song for love toxic Al Rory segments. <laughs> it's got to be an Al Green song. Clearly, all right, let's it's let's say be, together. Well, clearly, has to be Britney Spears toxic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's the sickest intro ever. I mean, I mean it works. Right, let's get Rory in his bag. Ooh, she knows this is my shit. <laughs> hey. Yo, you missing mad things in your Serato, but you got toxic. I worried. He has what? no tribe. But after Why does he, he found that shit in four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is my shit. Hey. <laughs> This is definitely Rory. All shit. right, Rory. Rim in the kitchen wilding. Rory, you shoot, you shoot the mirror with the, with the fingers when you get dressed to this record? <laughs> of course. <laughs> And walk out the door yeah. Hit him with a click Does one of these Hit him with yeah. the click You definitely hand brush it Yeah of course w- Wink at myself You hand brush your hair and, and put it back in the holster <laughs> Putting it back in the <laughs> Let me holster these <laughs> For later I, I blow the <laughs> Yeah you gotta blow the smoke off the barrel 100% Alright so Toxic it's Toxic Rory Nah I see what you're doing You're abandoning your brother we had this conversation. Now no, you're not I'm trying, still with you. You're not trying to take the heat. You're trying to put it all on me. No, that it's nigga cool. is toxic. It's cool. I see what's going on now. No, he's toxic. I'm with you, goddammit. I'm here. All right, we can start with Call Me. Classic. We all love Call Me. We do. We all know the hook starts three Call, call Me's in a beautiful crooning way. Mm. 
Then says, right there. Beautiful. <laughs> you wouldn't want to call him. I, I would mean, call. Yeah. He's saying it nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound aggressive. He then goes on to say, what a beautiful time we had together. Totally fine. Yeah. That's fine. Right there. Then said, hey, now it's getting late and we must leave each other. It happens. Yeah. Two, three in the morning. Something. Just remember the time we had. Well, it, well, can you tell a trick? Wait, slow down. Mm. That's, that's starting a toxic wave. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell a chick to remember the time just, we had. Just remember the time we had and how, how right I tried to be. <laughs> it's, uh, again, we've been there. It's all in a day's work. <laughs> Tell the chick to get the fuck out of your house. And yo, I know you mad at me. Just remember like how I beat it up. It's all in a day's work. It's all in a day's now work. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Maul doesn't seem pleased because he does that with all his women. <laughs> well, Maul's like, yo, how is this toxic? Well, Maul- <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it, guys. And I know Dame Hove and Biggs really love each other. <laughs> they do <laughs> I'm with you so far This is toxic Okay It's beautifully crooned Of course And Willie Mitchell I can see producer. how she fell for it <laughs> Wonderfully produced Yeah it's a good record yeah. I'm sure she's still thinking About the time they had But wasn't yeah. all the songs In the 70s toxic A little well, bit It yeah. was all high uh, Tired of being alone Classic mm. I'm tired of being alone too <laughs> I don't see how you're gonna Pull toxicity out of this one I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Totally fine. Yeah. Won't you help me, girl? Still cool. We all want help from a girl when yeah. we're alone. Mm-hmm. Just, just as soon as you can. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's very not toxic, yeah, in I fact. I need help quickly. Yeah, whenever, so. you got, whenever you got time. Uh, this is where it takes... Don't a, want to inconvenience her. Yeah, no. This no. is where it takes a slight turn. Okay. Just a little, a little left on here. People say that I've found a way to make you say that you love me. Mm. Best people say That's hearsay That's hearsay <laughs> That's hearsay That's Yeah, yeah that won't facts. hold up in court yeah, no. no My friends are saying Yo you know how to make That bitch come over mm-hmm. <laughs> But baby You didn't go for that She's smart um, That's a natural that's, fact that's when you got That st- I want you to come back That's when you gotta mm. stalk hard So show me where it's <laughs> <laughs> That's when you gotta stalk hard You stalk gotta stalk harder. harder You gotta get smarter Yeah but you don't fall for the shit Finding the ways to manipulate people into saying that they love you. <laughs> and then your friend's going, come on, you know how to do it. You know how to get her. <laughs> it's toxic as fuck. It's true. Maul we've still... All, we've all been there. Many years ago. Many moons. Mm. Now, this, let's stay together. I think you guys may not agree with me until we really analyze what he's saying and let's stay together. He can't be toxic over those horns. He didn't imply they were married or made any vows. So you mm. saying, let's stay together, Get loving there. you whether times are good, bad, happy, or sad. And in the verses, you're talking more or less about the sad time. her being sad. Yeah. And you're saying, fam, no, we're staying together. I don't care if you're sad. Real shit. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. Yeah, I think that's like part of the wedding vows. Yeah. yeah. What is he saying? No, it hurts me so to let you know that I love you. This is, I'm still eyes. in love with you. To let me know how you feel. Let me know that love is really real. That is toxic. It's toxic. <laughs> Though th- it hurts A me therapist to... would tear apart. I'm still hurt. in love with you. <laughs> That's toxic, too. You can't really still be in love with her. Al Green's the one that caught the face full of grits, right? No. Yeah. Was that yeah. Al? Yeah, it was yeah. Al. Yo, all them old, arm, <laughs> it's old school R&B niggas had it bad. Teddy had it bad. <laughs> Al. Yeah. Marvin. Mm. Sam. James, James wasn't having it. Donnie. James was doing the bad. James, yeah. James, I want to yeah. get into James being toxic. with we'll dedicate a whole episode. Uh, and we'll go with the last one here. Just the title in itself, You Ought to Be With Me. Hmm. Well, come on, Roars. He might have thought that he could add to her life somehow. Thinking about what people do, talking about how I love you, thinking there's nothing to what they say. You're going to be with me anyway. <laughs> Al Green was hitting her. <laughs> he was abusive. I'm trying to realize you being with some other guy, I don't know the reason why. You ought to just be with me until you die. Until I die. <laughs> Not you. See how quick that could change yeah, the narrative? Right. Right. You ought to be with me until I die. Cool. Yeah, but don't do that because that implies you might be trying to kill yourself. Y'all are killing Al Green's lyrics. <laughs> He became a pastor, I, I think. I don't know what it means. He made a lot of gospel records later in his career. He might still be making gospel records. Yeah. He's still, still no, Reverend. He's still Reverend Al Green. Yeah. 
The Rev. Good Rev. Because reverends aren't toxic. Word. <laughs> <laughs> that cleans up his image. That's he say, she say. We don't know. Well, say. he addressed it. He say, she say. Two he said, no, nah, still be with me. Two weeks in a row here. Last week, Rory came in here and put a hard stamp on which curry goat was the best. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, now he, and now he's shitting on Al Green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he's shitting on curry and greens. Yeah. Gotcha. Wow. 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 <laughs> Look how you guys paint the narrative. Can't wait to Toxic see where he takes this segment next week. <laughs> <laughs> what portion of the plate is he going to attack next? Uh, yeah. No. Well, he liked the chicken. I did like the chicken sandwich. He tore the chicken up. <laughs> no, maybe next week we'll get into the uh, affection drug dealers have with Isaac Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Hayes made how some many, How much dope shit. has been wrapped over an Isaac Hayes? Listen, man. Isaac Hayes got some How many packs music. have been moved over <laughs> every Isaac Hayes sample you could think of? That shit is gangster. All them shits are hard, though. Word up. Every, somebody need to do it right now. 21 Savage. Go ahead. Flip it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Only Young Thug album is good. I went and listened to it. Yeah. Good album. I got to go I back. I liked it. Yeah. It was, it was cool. I feel like that'll be good by the pool. Yeah, I, I put it on today when I was cleaning. What I find, and this is stupid, but... When I don't have the highest of expectations for an album and it just delivers, I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, me too. I really Which enjoy it. Which is why I say we shouldn't hear no singles. Mo. All right. All right. I'm with you, Mo. All right. I want to hear a single. Okay. I don't want to hear no singles. Summer Walker coming out soon. I want to hear a single, even if it's 40 seconds long. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to hear The snippet is a single? Mm-hmm. All right, so in Kodak Black News... <laughs> Something dun, happened. Dun, dun. Something happened. I feel like Kodak Black's in the news every other month, so it's fine. Yeah. What happened that now? That may be accurate. They, they got him with something, right? You're guilty. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's up It's up there on our new screen, huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. According to the plea agreement obtained by T- TMZ, be lying, man. <laughs> TMZ, I don't know. They kind of be telling the truth. TMZ was wrong. Fucking Hov never said that to Jermaine Dupree. Uh, did TMZ say No, only Funk Flex said that on his Twitter, and the world ran with it. No, I thought TMZ <laughs> said it, too. And then Flex outed, outed uh, JD, though. That was the funny part. Like, if you my man and I tell you some shit in confidence and then I got to renege publicly, you can't out me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just relax. You got to roll with it or you're not my man no more. I don't understand that in hip-hop. But anyway, uh, prosecutors say they'll push for a lighter sentence than the maximum because Kodak has been cooperative. Kodak pled guilty to two counts of knowingly making a false and fictitious written statement in connection with the acquisition of a firearm. He faces a maximum of 10 years in prison, followed by three years of supervised release. These niggas be getting more chances than a little bit, I tell you. I think him, him pleading was probably his lawyer saying, yo, they're going to go light, just take the deal. Yeah, they're going to try to go hard. <clears throat> Welp, there you have it. Yeah. That's our Kodak news. <laughs> Killed that segment. Moving on. What's another segment we can kill? How about the VMAs, Rory? <laughs> <laughs> killed that. Moving on. Huh? VMA performers. Jo- Conan could never. <laughs> <laughs> I just jo- I just realized Joe doing the VMA pool party. Ooh. <laughs> I you bodied that. I'm not doing the VMA pool the pre- party. Po- the pre-party? Viacom VMA Joe. Pre-party. Yeah, you never know with Joe. <laughs> You do know with Joe. Will there be a red carpet down your driveway? No. <laughs> a, a, a step and repeat with Rem? A red driveway? That, that's not a bad With idea. Remy and Puff? <laughs> you Ferg and Puff? I mean, let me hit him with some rough ends since Rory wants to talk about red carpets in my driveway. <laughs> and I don't think that's a bad idea. No, and, it's, a, it's a bad idea. And Remy and Puff should be on the red carpet with Chinese Kitty. Of course. Hey. Rory trying to act like he's not excited that Chinese Kitty is coming to the pool party. Come on, Rory. Don't do that. What do you mean trying to hide? I've been very, very vocal on how excited I was. I am, too. Seemed like ever since you got the invite, the pictures have spiced up on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> She's prepping. <laughs> you, th- you thought that's what did it? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, you know, let me double tap right quick, man. Give, give her a little something. <laughs> give her a little something to show support. That's funny. Who else, who's coming that Maul is excited about? Who am I excited about? Uh? There's, there's a couple, couple yoints. A couple who? The J, the J is soft. Oh, the J is soft. Uh-huh. Oh, a couple of yoinks. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We got. I got to see who's coming. I don't know who's who's coming. So. Are you gonna cross reference the uh, the master list? All the lists combined? Oh yeah, you have to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a quick look at that as well. You have to. You got a you got a game. Maybe plan. not a quick. Maybe a thorough look. Yeah, you got a game plan. Because chicks will always find a way to hit like your mans that don't really be paying attention mm-hmm. and thought it was okay. Right. <laughs> that you were supposed to be here. 
phone call? Yeah, they like how y'all tried to play me last week. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> why are you so corny? Just tell me why you so corny. Just tell me why. I'll stop calling you corny. Nah, once no, you I tell me, you once you tell corny. me why you're so corny, I am I'll stop. corny. Oh, but God. I can be corny, and I'm gonna leave right. a message. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That we're not doing. Fine. Yeah, we're not doing. Who did you try to call? I don't know. We'll get back to it. Back to it's coming. The one and only. They'll call. The one and only. <laughs> Wait, hold up, man. Y'all playing around. The one and only son of Tony, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? The one and only. Oh, y'all know the vibes. Bro, you better put some respect on it. Rory ain't putting enough respect on it. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> All right, so let me let me help you then, nigga. Uh. <laughs> uh, hold up mm. Hold up Where were you yeah. Where were you When it dropped <laughs> ah. this I was, a, It's crazy That this is a blast From the past I man. was steering at Terry Wishing I was single <laughs> Joe was ass This is one of those Fam When this dropped oh. Yeah When you know A record come out That you should be single With one, the record Come on I couldn't do it It's proper justice yeah, you couldn't play that shit loud enough. Oh, man. I ain't mad at that nigga <laughs> Aubrey. <either. laughs> oh, my God. Yo, see, I want to I want to say so much, though. I can't say it. All right. All right, where was that? Where was that? Who more going to be excited about to come in the pool bar? Hey, Mo, I, don't got I don't know who's coming. I don't know. Some old friends? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see some women some new that friends? I haven't seen in a while, yeah. Some, mm. new, some new women that Maybe I Maybe some, with some, with some history? Uh, I don't know about history. I don't know. Okay. You don't think you'll see anybody that you might have had history with? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean by history? Explain. What does me. history mean? Yeah. What does history yeah, mean? It's, it's, so uh, it's, it's, it's like a, it moves all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. History. history. That's not. The, that's history. not the definition of history. <laughs> history. Wait, it moves all the time. <laughs> history repeats itself. Wait, you see this nigga? <laughs> oh, you mean repeats <laughs> itself? You talking about? You talking about his story? Yeah, his story. Yeah. <laughs> not mine. No, no, no. How many rappers have tried to get that flip off? Yeah, there's a bunch. Every rapper. The Jizza. <laughs> <laughs> Jizza. You still think you have a beef with Jizza that never happened? <laughs> you had the wrong member. <laughs> Jizza don't got no beef. Jizza, was, Jizza didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, he's like, Jizza was playing chess somewhere. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about it after my fake beef. Oh, I was just okay. saying he made the flip. He definitely okay. Oh, uh, what else is funny? Is Jizza gonna be there? Uh, he's welcome. Okay. It's just gonna be fun to see everybody, like, cause you know, dudes move different when, like, a number of women are around. Mm. So it's always fun to watch how your homies start moving. Like niggas get real helpful when it's like pretty women. <laughs> of course, I ain't never see this nigga. I'll like, open that yeah. for you. Oh really. wait, you need, you need help with the tray? No, I can bring the trays this out. I can bring the trays out. Tan in bed? Did this nigga just put together? A tan? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never see this nigga yo, put together a tan in bed. This nigga put the day bed together. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, is did this nigga just put you together? You gonna like, go uh, I might. Did Maul pull out a, a power drill out of his bag? No, Maul is good for that too. Maul is the nigga that get extra helpful and extra funny. You gotta watch. It's a deadly combination. I'm saying. That's a deadly combination. If y'all see me building a gazebo, when you, mind your business. When you polite and funny, like you're not even the rude funny. Yeah, no, you got to be polite. Maul, don't make no jokes. Why? No, nah, don't make no jokes. And, well, hold on. No, no, let's and Rory hired bartenders, so don't make no drinks neither. Oh, I, damn, Rory. You trying to corner? Hate it. Hate yeah, it. what you doing? <laughs> you Marcus? know that's my flow. Yeah, 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 like, that's me, fam. What you doing? Nah, but I'll, I'll give you like the, the wristband that allows you Let to go behind the shit. Let me get the six to seven like, session. Yeah, like, oh, nah. Uh, we we'll have to wait in line. You do a whole bit back there? Yeah. A whole hour? Yeah, yeah. Got to. Okay. Well, I, I hear Joe talking, but let's you got to get into the dude who owns the crib, his type of swag. Mm. Uh, like, oh, oh, you need to use the real bathroom? Yeah. You going to be on like the balcony the whole time? Like, you was Joe is definitely. Though this line is way too long for yeah, you, let no, me show you. I'll I'll take, I'll take you. Yeah. Oh, and all the ones downstairs are broken. We have to use the one in my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I got Kayla when Sean Marion came up there on us. That's exactly <laughs> that's that exactly that's what, a sick story. How, <laughs> Sean the Matrix, Sean Marion. This is my master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in here? <laughs> this is, this, it's not a line yeah. for the bathroom in this room. <laughs> you have to get you your, have to go up staircases. You have to get you your have Phoenix to... Sun head <laughs> ass <laughs> the fuck out of my room. Yo, that nigga jumped over the whole shit, which is funny. Because when them niggas could jump and they use their athleticism for something other than athletics, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not didn't work fair. out well. Nah, not for him. <laughs> shout, right. out, shout out the Matrix though. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out the tricks. Listen, if T Max start talking to mine, 
Because Marlon invited T Mac. Marlon invited athletes with money. I didn't know nothing about that. Damn. Nah, I mean, nah. You we meant nice to vet that ratio. List. You got to keep the nice little. Yeah, we got to get T Mac out of here. You got to keep the nice <laughs> ratio, man. Like, nah, I, f- I fuck with you, but. Yeah, for real. My bitch was a fan of the magic back then. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I had the jersey. <laughs> yo, y'all, y'all be looking at Six Shady when they know, like, too much sports. Of course. What? Like, come on, Ma. What you know yeah. about Anthony? Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> you watching the game with your girl? She yell out, "Call out the pick!" I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> How you know to call out the pick? That was you and Scott the Animal that got me paranoid about chicks wearing NBA socks. Oh yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's not even no. The practice shorts is the scariest oh, yeah, yeah. part. All of that, yeah, yeah. all of that, practice. all of that. Like they don't even they don't, they don't sell 24. those at the NBA yeah, store. No, no, no. <laughs> you know where she got those from? Those were the about. practice. Yeah, it was, she she went to practice. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about her practice? So you got a nice no. little roster coming through? What are you, what, you, what you working with? You know, you got mad bathroom meeting set up. Oh, okay. <laughs> For sure. That's the office. That is office. That's a great office. He wants to go up there and discuss podcasting. Yeah. yeah. How don't you have a podcast is all I'm asking. <laughs> no, Leveraging I, your celebrity. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Leveraging your celebrity. I know. Whenever I knew. Tell you, a chick you're not leveraging something. He's I knew, going. All I knew. Years. I knew Joe was super sick one time when a, when a girl that he and I both know came to me and was like, Joe, just be believing in me. <laughs> <laughs> but what, I said, what? what? What's wrong with that? Joe, I do believe, do believe in Dre and them. Joe, you can't believe me. <laughs> no. no. You gave her some advice? Yeah. Where'd you I get did. to her? Yo, why what, do my what, what, friends what, what, always what, what, crack what, what, on me for like really <laughs> advising chicks? It's just funny. It's just like, look at the chicks you advise. <laughs> what's wrong with I you? I believe in them. I see. Mm. I believe in a few of them. Mm. <laughs> I believe in a few some of them might be. You there. just so well versed in so many different topics. <laughs> <laughs> it just flows effortlessly. For you. Like, come on, ma, you you bullshitting. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> That's when you pull that out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you not, you're not you serious. Like, oh, you're not serious. You're not serious. <laughs> you're not serious. You're not serious. <laughs> nah. Oh man, this is awesome. Now nah, you definitely gonna build that empire. Chicks <laughs> love the empire. Oh, you're built for broadcast. <laughs> See, we never found out if that if that whole uh, podcasting line thing works like in music, where the niggas be promising the chicks a record deal, mm. and then they fuck real quick. <laughs> Promise the podcast and, deal. A podcast uh, maybe, deal. maybe be we a don't guest. usually do guests, but yeah, yeah. be a guest on guest on the pod. I help you get your shit off the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm done. I'm finished with y'all. Yeah. I got two sleeping spots left. So what you trying to do? <laughs> Your little cousin rap, right? He try to get your little cousin hot? <laughs> I'm joking. Ma- <laughs> and then Ma come on and play some absolute bullshit. We looking like, all right, Ma. I'm joking, I'm joking. Ma ain't going to be none of that hardcore hip-hop being played today. At, Good. At, at my uh, podcast. Oh, I'm not at the pool party. No yes. hardcore hip-hop? <laughs> yeah, no. We can't have a different stage like G-Spin somewhere G-Spin is DJing. It's going to be some hardcore hip-hop. Yeah, it's a fact. Yeah, he'll, he'll sneak <laughs> you got there. G-Spin fucked up. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Strict instructions. Oh, 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 oh strict, you know. strict. Oh, that's inst- why. That's why. But if it wasn't no instructions, best believe Wu Tang was coming on. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna protect your that. neck at the pool party. Yeah. It's got Method protect. man, bring the pain. That might be kind of hard as yeah, the, as the night falls. Yours. Protect your. As the night falls, a little protect your neck. I'm not mad at it. I'm most excited about lights, and I know that sounds really stupid. But I'm excited about uh, bringing the uh, the little lawn chairs, the little beach chairs, like type mm. of thing. Yeah, I'm bringing one of those. Like the fold-up joints? Yeah. Already he's starting. What? Already I know, I know sta- what type of time he is. Already he's starting. And he's going to get the... I'm trying to make sure I got somewhere y'all, to sit. Y'all don't he's gonna hear this, it. He's going to get the big one with the tent above it. I'm trying to have somewhere to sit. That has the extra seat. That's actually... Yeah. I, might bring, I might bring a couple I'm to I'm trying to have somewhere to sit. That's all yeah. I'm doing. I and Maul going to be like, yo, I didn't even know it came with a second seat, but I got you. Yeah, like you got a side car? No, the side car. No, the side car. The second seat would be too practical. Maul to do all day long. He's going to get up. No, no, you sit. You sit. You sit. I'm good. I'm good. And knees hurting. Yeah, sitting all day. Don't worry about it. You He's got a gentleman. It. I'm going to be watching you like a hawk, Paul. Why? Just you know that I will have my eye Stop on you, Stop watching buddy. my moves, And man. a red cam won't be far behind me. So, <laughs> Stop watching my man, maneuvers, I'm just telling you man. something. I'm just telling you something. Damn, niggas want to watch careful. my maneuvers. I'm, I'm watching. Damn, I can't even maneuver. I can't watch Rory. I can't watch Parks, Erickson, I'm, I'm Just know I'm gonna be, we're going to be watching each other. Every time you hit a corner, I'm hitting a corner, nigga. But why would you watch me? You already know the vibe for me. No, 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 no. But it's a little different. And I don't know. Maul was in the bushes for like four hours. To uh, 
pool parties ago. Mm. We, we ain't see you once. When we was over there trying to smoke with Allie and then sink came. Oh, yeah, me and Joe was just trying to get the vibes, right? <laughs> get the vibes. <laughs> and then bushes. Some, yeah, just some sage. Yeah. We were saging. Oh, sage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. good. There's some sage. spirits over there. Sage the yeah. outside. Yeah. yeah. Sin came right to them bushes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, why you more than that fine yeah, girl yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just <laughs> the fuck out them bushes, nigga. <laughs> I was looking for you. <laughs> you over here in the bushes? Yeah, my phone don't work yeah, in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. vibrations. Uh, Mo, you want to borrow Basley for like an hour? Ooh, Definitely. That's basically. a power move. Yeah, yeah. That's a power need, move. That'll bad. separate you. I mean, because I got anxiety, so I need Basley. Of course. Work. Oh, yeah. Service yeah, dog. Yeah. Service dog. Yeah. I'm walking right up to Chicks. So you want to watch Power with me tomorrow? <laughs> that's a nasty <laughs> invite. You want to watch Power with me tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> hey. Which means you got to stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, VMA's right. Monday, too. Don't act, yeah, like, yeah. Look at Maul, act like that wasn't our vibe back Maul, then to get them man, to stay. It's me. It's still me here. Don't worry. It's me. That's a, that's that's a me. sick way. Listen, Power. Me. Listen, man. Got to get them to stay. Fuck and yo, it. a lot of chicks don't have stars. That is true. That's true. That's a lot. That is true. We're going to have fun. Yo, they're going to bleed me to death all season on, on uh, power 100%. of Ghost and Tommy chasing each other. What? I'm telling y'all, yes. I'm going to complain. I will what be you honest. Think I had no intent on watching the shit, but I think I'm going to have to watch it. I'm going to watch it. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. I don't think it'll be bad because it's the last season. They're not, they're, not, they're not building toward anything, so they could really just wild out. Yeah. They could kill nine niggas. They can kill Tariq. Shit, ghosts could die. They could just keep going. We don't care. Yeah. Tariq could kill his moms. Yeah, they could bug out. Yeah, anything could happen. Angela, yeah, I'm going to watch just for the anything can happen narrative. Yeah, they're going to empire this. They're definitely going to empire I told you Angela's this. not dead. It was a dream. If, if that was... <laughs> all right. Was if, if 50 wake up <laughs> alive and it was a dream... Yes, it was a dream. Ghost is yelling. Yeah, Once he finished yelling, he's gonna jump up out the bed. Uh, you know that heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already, that's his swag and acting yeah, too. I already know how yeah, this shit goes. I already see where this is going. Yeah, Fifty better not get burned and be alive. That Fifty not, made it out of a basement that was on fire, or, and will, he picked the lock. I will head right to right to <laughs> privilege had a, to ask him. He about. had the fucking wherewithal <laughs> to pick a lock with a full on blaze going that's on around funny. him. Is Fifty coming? No, okay. oh, I didn't invite him. All right. I should ask you if you're coming, nigga. Shot money was at your engagement party. <laughs> Word. We have to redo these industry rankings. Mm. Nah, that's family. Let's do it after this party. <laughs> I like that. I'm with that. Let's do it after Let's this party. Let's redo the industry rankings after this party. I'm telling mm. you, I'm recording all of it. Because I'm going to count how many times you say my guy, Kai's. I'm going to count. <laughs> I'm gonna count. I was no, I was thinking about the industry list after you said the Sean Money shit uh, last episode, and then I started thinking why you are definitely number one. Tell me, because all the people that Parks really fuck with, that I really fuck with, and that Maul really fuck with, are not industry people. They're like my actual friends that are, that are quote unquote in the industry. Park Prem is not industry. You know, nah. Prem is not industry. He's one of two producers to be on. Uh, every greatest rapper alive. You're talking album. about his talent level. I'm t- we're talking about industry. He's also been producing. Pre- Preem be in the offices running around. <laughs> He'd be at the nah, parties. Like, not at all. Preem, he just keep to himself. He don't fuck with people. <laughs> not 50 years Preem ran in the office one time and it was not an industry move. <laughs> you can do the research on that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my only real friends are you and like Ninth Wonder. <laughs> like, <laughs> Who's industry? That's industry. If you're two he does work Joe for the Grammys. No, if we're talking about industry friends. Okay. Those are Fam, two people, because he says he's not industry. He beat for the cypher every year. <laughs> it's industry. It's industry. And Maul just said at the start of his podcast, I mean, that's for y'all, but I know what's really going on. Because that's his family. Because <laughs> that's his family. I know what's going on. That's, that's for what y'all. It's his family. Yeah, yeah. I know what's really going on inside yeah. of Rockefeller. Yeah. Mm. That's family. Yeah, mm. it is. I, I swear we're gonna I'm wait till this party's over. I though. swear I'm last. No, 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 you ain't last. We're gonna wait till Oh, I can't wait till it's over. You already know what's going down. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh. But okay. No, <laughs> okay. Shit, the party might be over while it's still going. I'm going to look for something upstairs. What I you want to look for? Uh, socks. You left something up there. Yeah. Socks. socks, chapstick. You probably need socks. some help car it too. keys. One hundred. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're not can't gonna find it by yourself. How can you find it alone, Park? No, you can't. I know Joe's move. You're gonna say, "No, driveway open. You can park right here, then park his car behind it." Oh, the blocking? That's a yeah, strong move. Blocking. The blocking line? Because she can't leave until she come find Joe. Like, yeah. oh, are you blocking me in? She's like, oh, you leaving so soon? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't even find my keys right now. <laughs> you leaving already? Yeah, it's 1130 at night. Just getting started. Yeah, we just ready to turn it up a little bit. I don't know why y'all picturing all these moves for Joe. Like, Joe don't just tap somebody on the shoulder and say, yo, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, no. I. But it's much more it's fun. Much more. We, yeah, yeah. We got to, yeah. 
It ain't even just a tap. It's like a little shoulder yeah, massage. You, gotta squeeze. Yeah. you know you got to squeeze. Oh, I'm giving out some shoulder massages. All right, don't, you buck. don't get me too at your own shit. No, no. They have to sign something first. <laughs> you, you got know, NDAs ready? It doesn't, make, you know, doesn't make it better. <laughs> it don't? <laughs> he can, Erickson just is confused. Wait, wait a second, Rory. It doesn't? You, That's like at the strip club when you're sitting there, you're trying to pay mind to the bartender and the stripper, but right behind you, here comes some unsuspecting, would you like a massage? <laughs> well, um, I didn't, but I mean. <laughs> I think I did. But, but now, yeah. fuck it. I mean, I'll it take like one. I'm going to be like that that person. Okay. Oh, and I'm that guy too, Rory. Damn, what if you've been just a little stress in your back? <laughs> you look tense. It's so much stress stress knots in your Should back. You feel this right here? Now you're taking buck whole lane. Buck is coming through. I, oh, no, you ain't got to tell me Buck is coming. <laughs> oh, I, seen, I know uh, he'll be there. I seen Buck's brother t- today in Journal Square. Yo, see you Saturday. Yeah, you know the vibes. <laughs> Damn, that's what they're screaming in the square? <laughs> 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 I keep telling you, you promoted this shit like it was open for everybody. That's but I, I was just trying to show them the vibration. Nah, nah. Not they invite part, them. Now they think they are part of the vibration. Well, tell no, Swole and Glad. Yeah. Tell that's, security. That's, Buck's family is invited. That's why I was like, yeah, Everybody's <laughs> invited. It's going to be a great time. It's a great Don't time right this second. Everyone's invited. No, that's the front. That's like when we come on here and say, I didn't hear that album yet. <laughs> Yeah, that is probably the same. I didn't thing. have enough time to live with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll R- get we'll get back to it next episode. R- Rory never her, do. Rory ain't her chance album yet. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> honest <laughs> to God, <laughs> honest to God, I have not heard a single song yeah, from bet. it. No, we understand. We understand. Yeah. I would say, wink, we, wink. <laughs> it's not too late to call it trash now. Everyone called it trash. Then do it. I haven't heard it. I haven't heard one song. Yeah, you so move, they, so you're moving just, up in the ring. So then just call it trash because other niggas call it trash. Well, I'm not following like y'all. See? <laughs> he wants a feature. Not a yeah. follower. I want a feature. Rory, Rory, feature Rory wants a chance on that Rory album. <laughs> that Rory Orange album. Ah, shit. I got a slot for him. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> um, all right, I don't give a fuck about what's going on. It's a pool party happening. I'm setting up. I'm getting right out now, of here. Right now, yeah. Yeah, right this second, man. You, you niggas go Google the news. <laughs> break, yeah, break down the album yourself. Go, <laughs> Word. Mad, down, mad, go mad music came news. out. Hey, have fun with it. Yeah, why don't y'all tweet us with the album breakdowns for a change? Yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. Tell us what you think. Yeah. That would be interesting. What lyric was really meant for who? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how you thought it was sequenced well. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sick of this shit, man. Too much, too much stress. Um, yeah, I can get out of here. Fuck it. Anything else we got to cover? Cover, cover, cover. Savon, you coming to the pool party? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> 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 That's a no He won't be there <laughs> Whatever the wife says When that nigga said I think so He won't be no, there I got a flight I'm supposed to go somewhere You have a flight You're so supposed to go you're somewhere to. Where, where are you going on? You didn't get the flight insurance? No, no one ever gets the flight Atlanta. insurance Atlanta This guy's going to Atlanta On the day of the mm, That's wild What's in Atlanta? Wow uh, My friend's birthday mm. uh, My friend's mm. How Yo, you, you and Joe spent a lot of pull-ups in Atlanta it feels like mm. like y'all be filming people that like you guys both live in New York but like yo let's fly to Atlanta to film it mm. like wow, Tiana gracious. live in New York yo right. let's go to Miami right <laughs> right the mm. the they got some great studios, studios out there they got some great studios yeah. in Miami yeah. no great studios in New York yeah you can't do that here no, no, no. nah not in New York mm. studio no alright I love OC same shout out to OC we turn this up right quick. Niggas already know the vibes, man. Y'all know, know y'all know what I'm doing. Fans. Y'all know what I'm doing right now while y'all <laughs> listening to this, man. Mm. Where you at right now? <laughs> <laughs> you on the driveway, even, keeping an I'm, eye on things. You know what? I'm trying to see if I'm gonna keep it like keep still and sit at the spade table and be cool. No, nah, you're not doing or, that. Or because I feel like I've hi- every we've I've hired enough help that mm. I don't have to. Host, I feel like, even though that never goes well, according to plan. Yeah, no, that never no, happens. No, like, no. Well, it's your house. Definitely you still doesn't. gotta do the shit. I'm gonna be playing some fades. <laughs> and when I ain't playing, man, I'll probably be upstairs somewhere. Mm. I'll probably be in the crib, just mm. taking it down. Mm. Give a little advice. Take, taking it down, you say? Yeah, take mm. a little nappy nap. Oh, mm. nap. Mm. Be in there getting chummy, those are, chummy. Those, yeah, those are key during pool parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stop taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are those are key in the yeah, middle of a pool party. Yeah, taking a nap. What, taking a nap? <laughs> taking a nap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get in the pool? Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah? I got to yeah, find some swim trunks I did last real time. quick. I'm, I'm... Shorts, yeah. go right in the shorts? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't get in the pool? No, you can. He's in a hot tub, too. I'm sure Rory can swim. Yeah, I can. I can not drown. 
<laughs> did Parks get in the pool last time? Uh, no. And Maul did, did not, not get in the pool last time. You no. came with your cool drug dealer. It was raining. It was raining. And then so, it made it fun. so, yeah, but by evening time, it was nice. It was kind of like, it was over, though. Well, listen, man, right this second, the pool party is happening. I'm sure if you go to my Instagram, I'm on Insta Live right now. <laughs> I'm Insta Live in this whole shit, the, man. the podcast. I, I, hope, uh, I hope everybody has a nice, safe Fun weekend. If you're coming to the pool party, I will see you there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Hasta la vista. Peace. So long. Goodbye. Adios. Arrivederci. Deuces. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, remember the girl is not cute. She's young. She's not uh, thick. She's on her tippy toes. She doesn't have hips. She's on the sink. Uh, she doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers. I don't ever cut my rough ends off, nigga. Cut my shit on. <laughs> she doesn't have a sense of humor. She grew up with brothers, and she's not protecting her peace. She's avoiding accountability, failing to realize how her actions have a negative effect on not only her lives, life, but those around her as well. Mm. And there we go. There you have it. That is our Saturday pod. I'm in the pool, butt ass. <laughs> I'm leaving. No, I'm on my way out. Anymore. Who's going to be the first one to get butt ass? Come on. It ain't a pool party if somebody don't get you. butt ass. Nah, Joe ain't going to be the first one to get butt ass. Nah, not the first nah. one. Not somebody got to set it off. Not yet. Somebody, if somebody said it, I'll follow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the vibes. That's a sick ass follow up. That's the vibes. Hey, we'll talk to y'all next week. Until then, peace.